Good luck, guys. And we are live. Hello, everybody. How you all doing today? Can you guys hear me? Yeah. Yeah, Bradley, we hear yeah. you. Can you hear us, Bradley? Man, we lost it. <laughs> We're live. We are live. We are live. How's it going, everybody? Good to see everybody today. What is up, chat? Hello, hello, hello. We're going to give it a, about 15 minutes before the time. Let everybody gather in here. Um, Smash that thumbs line. Thumbs up button. As you guys can notice on panel, we have uh, one of our sponsors on panel, which is Ravenhawk Coins. He's going to be calling the auction on panel. Uh, as Diane Durbin and Joe will be calling the auction down in chat. Um, so, yeah, we, uh, I just want to thank you, uh, Raven Hawk, for doing this today. Um, you know, it truly means a lot, bro. Oh, man, no problem. My pleasure. You know, I wouldn't miss it. You know what I did to get here? <laughs> <laughs> We got a lot of people in the house. We got Mad Stacker here, Silver Viking, Spray Can Coins, J Dog, AZ Coins, The Saint, Full Push Medals, Ida Herring, Patriots Mom, Ty Hitman, AZ Coins. Nice. Likewise, Mad Stacker, you're okay. Kinda. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is going to be fun, guys. We'll have a good time. Uh, great stuff. So, uh, Mad J Dog, Mad Stacker, Izzy Coin, Silver Vikings, Ida Herring. Oh, well, that's a good so Patriot. Good. Right? Yo, yeah, yeah. America Silver Patriot, Drake was Dragon. Uh, it's awesome. So just to kind of give everybody the whole speech and, and whatnot. Uh, so so today uh, the shipping the shipping is uh, in fifty uh, for shipping on small items. Obviously the larger items um, like the chess set and uh, you know stuff like that. Um, whoever buys the chess set, I will be getting a hold of them and figuring out the shipping with them. Um, if they would rather just ship normally through uh, USPS or through FedEx or whatnot, um, you know. So as far as that though, uh, as far as I know, it's eight fifty for shipping uh, on uh, the uh, the smaller items. Um, otherwise, unless the poor um, explains otherwise when they show the piece. Um, Everything is paid in goods and services. At the bottom of each screen, there will be the, uh, as the poor is presenting their item, uh, Brian's World will be uh, putting up the individual poor's PayPal links um, at the bottom of the screen. So that way you guys will have the PayPal links. Um, as far as that goes, uh, any bidders that bid tonight, we will be taking uh, names down for backup bidders on the items. Um, and you have 24 hours to, to pay or, or by the end of the stream to pay uh, for your item. Um, if not, or otherwise discussed, it'll be going to the next follow-up person. Um, Monica, how's it going? So... Just going to give it a few more minutes here, wait to see if uh, the other members are showing up or whatnot. Um, I hope so. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. What is up, everybody in the chat? I'm about to drop another, uh, I have an early comment video, guys. So around, right at right the 5.30 mark, we're going to pull it and do one of the uh, bones to the chat. Yeah, if you, wanna, if you want to drop that link again, bro. It's what you get in right now. All right, so Full Push is going to drop a link in chat that's a comment video for a small silver poor bone. Uh, it's like a dog bone. Um, go and comment on that video quickly and get back here, and uh, he's going to be doing a giveaway for that. Uh, Ida Herring is dropping the, the list for the auction for all the items. 
Hello, J Dog. What's up, J Dog? What's up? Hey. Sorry, Mr. Wolf. Go ahead, brother. Hey, America. You read. Uh, Rob Random asked about international shipping. What's up, Dean? Uh, so, yeah, we do international shipping. Hey, I know that voice. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, you just probably need to give it to the artist and uh, discuss those terms and where it's being shipped to. Yeah, so, uh, hey, just so you guys are forewarned, if I if I mute up, but I don't say anything, it's probably because the dog's going ape shit. The neighbors have decided to do work in their backyard, and he needs to be all up in that. So <laughs> yeah, I'm going anywhere. It just means the dog's barking. So yeah, um, Rob, well, when you were in the UK. For domestic, and then I think any international stuff to be discussed. Yeah, I mean, I don't see a problem. I mean, guys, keep keep in um, keep in mind though, with obviously the holidays and stuff like that. Post office, they are running a lot slower than normal, um, so it may take you know two, three weeks longer than what it normally does. Um, Rob Random, the only thing I'm going to say about the UK goes, we will ship to the UK um, and, you know, we will supply a tracking number, stuff like that. Obviously, the shipping is going to be more. Um, but all in all, that's that's going to be your risk. Um, you know, see it. because I know, like, when I ship stuff to the UK, they'll only ensure a certain value. Um so, I mean, like, if you're ordering a you know, $1,000 piece or whatever like that, um, I don't think we can get insurance that high. I'm not sure. Yeah, no no, uh, no Christmas deliveries guaranteed. <laughs> yeah, jeez right. Louise. And obviously, you'll have to, you know, then you've got your VAT and everything else, right? Yeah. Um, well, Bradley's coming and going left and right. What's going on, Scrapper? What's up? What's going on? Okay. Screw it. Well, Scrapper, you don't mind helping Brian with the list tonight, right? Nope. Okay. We are, are, are we you are, making an editor? Yeah, we are going to be uh, taking down backup bidders too tonight. Okay. So... Scrappin, did I already make you an editor? You did. Okay. Yeah, so you got, sent me a link. You sent me a link earlier. I got it opened up. Okay. All right. So, so we got 30 people in the chat. All right, guys. So on panel, we have, as we do uh, every auction on panel, I like to introduce the members and the sponsors. So we'll start out with the uh, the members. Uh, in the top corner, we got Brian's World Mechanic, who's the guy behind the scenes who, you know, kind of does the list and a lot of many other things. Um, he is a new pourer. Unfortunately, you know, he's not pouring at the time due to health reasons, but, you know, hopefully this come next year, uh, we can uh, get some pourers out of him. Mm -hmm. And uh, then we got Full Push Metals. Um, you know, Sandcast uh, Pour does some amazing work, guys, and he's always pushing it forward. Um, you know, then you got Mr. John Wolf. John Wolf is a new upcoming pour. He's been pouring for about give or take a year, a year or so. Um, you know, was doing graphite, but now he's been doing getting into that Sandcast and stuff. He's been doing some really good pours. Um, and then we got Phoenix Fire Fine Arts. Um, which is kind of the uh, the guy that does it all, you know. Uh, he does tank casts and lost wax, lost wax casting, uh, some graphite pours, a little bit of everything, um, as you will see tonight in tonight's auction. Um, he's also the one that's doing the one of one redneck metals buyer this month. And then we have the the oldest Canadian brother of them all, Mr. Tomoko Enterprise, Mr. Dean Lorman. The OG silver pour of the community, um, you know, who does graphite pouring, sand casting, um, you know, does it all. You know, he's 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 a he's a teacher and a pourer, and still learns every day that he does it. So, you know, and then we got uh, Mr. SHTF. Very sad. 
Gordon Tinker and Fun. Uh, you know, he's uh, he does uh, some uh, graphite pouring, sand casting, does some live streams twice a week as well. Um, and he's also a scrapper as well. Um, very good guy, very hyped up. And uh, in the middle of the screen here, we got Raven Hot Coins, which is one of our sponsors who is going to be calling the auction on panel tonight. Um, and, uh, you know, he does uh, live streams twice a week as well, some coin roll hunting, auction, and stuff like that on his channel as well. So make sure you guys go and check him out too. Um, our other our other members, uh, Bradley Height, who's been popping in and out. Hopefully he gets his phone fixed. Um, We're working on that he, right now. <clears throat> he is the graphite king. Uh, carves his own graphite molds, does sand casting, uh, graphite pouring, and a bunch of other things, guys. So, you know, he does uh, some really amazing work as well. Everybody knows him as Mr. Socks. But, uh, yeah. You know, then we got Twisted Eye Racing, who just unfortunately couldn't be here tonight. Um, you know, he does uh, a lot of Devil Forge work, some sand casting as well. Uh, we got SJ Mix Adventures uh, that couldn't be here tonight. Um, you know, she does uh, some sand casting and live streams as well. I'm sure you guys have checked out her channel. If not, please do so. Um, who am I missing? I'm missing somebody. Jason. Did you get no, back? Did you see him backyard scrapping. No, I don't think you do. Yes, backyard scrapping. Who is the mad DC, scientist? Man. Yeah, the mad scientist behind the scenes. You know, he does gold refining, silver refining, the whole <laughs> night. Yards. He also does sand casting, uh, graphite pouring. He does it all. Then we got VC Coins Nevada, which is. Uh, you know, a uh, really great guy. He does uh, some graphite pours, sand casting as well. Um, you know, unfortunately, he can be here tonight. He is uh, out with his son right now uh, up in Utah. So, yeah. Are you there, Bradley? Hmm. He was. He was. <clears throat> okay. Well, and then, so to our sponsors, as I mentioned, we got Raven Hot Coins up here, who has generously donated a giveaway to the middle of the stream, uh, which will be coming up later on. And then we also have Miss Ida Herring, who has donated a giveaway, uh, our first giveaway of the stream. Um, and then we have Miss Paula Bloom, who runs the big show. And then we also have Mr. Value Hunter, who also does auctions. He's actually probably in the midst of finishing up one right now. I know he's supposed to be coming over the radar here shortly. So then we also have Joe and Diane Durbin. He's on the way. Yep. We have Joe and Diane Durbin. Um, Joe and Diane run auctions twice a week. Um, they do coin auctions. Uh, Joe Durbin also makes coin bells and stuff like that too. So make sure you guys... Down in the description of this stream is all of our sponsors' links to their channels. Make sure you guys click on their links, show them the support and love, because without them sponsors, guys, we wouldn't have the giveaways to give to you guys. Um, so, you know, we greatly appreciate all their help, and, uh, you know, they all, they all do their part, and uh, amazing people and amazing channels. So, all right, sure. So I am going to pass this off to Mr. Raven Hot Coins. And uh, like I said, he's going to work hand in hand with Joe and Diane Durbin down in chat. And he's going to call the auction up above. And uh, yeah, let's get this party started, guys. All righty. So ladies and gentlemen, right, guys, we're gonna get I'm going to... Uh, yes, I'm going to pop over to the YouTube side. Okay. I'm just going to pop over to the YouTube side uh, so I can, you know, carry on with what other stuff I'm doing here, but still be part of this. Okay. So, sounds good, man. so we'll see you from there. Okay. Sounds good. Oh, good. Take care. Thanks, Dean. Bye. Bet. All right. Uh, so we ready? Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's get this going, everybody. So, guys, as you all know, this is going to be a great auction tonight. First item up to bid tonight is actually by the one and only Phoenix Fine, <clears throat> excuse me, Fire Fine Arts, and that is the Dragon Watcher 
5.25 ounce silver hand poured dragon. Now, check this out, ladies and gentlemen. He's going to highlight it right now. Well, let me get that, let me get that around of the way real quick. There we go. I'll scooch him back a hair bit. Yeah, here we are right here. It is a, I guess you call it a 3D, but it's a flat back. Um, dragon Port, Dragon Watcher, Dragon Head, 5.25 ounces, three nines fine, silver. Uh, just a fun little piece I wanted to make up and uh, give it a run. And I was happy with the details that came out, so I figured I'd offer it up to you guys. Nice. Very, very cool, ladies and gentlemen. So that is the first item up for bids, and we are starting that awesome piece of hand poured art for two hundred and sixty dollars for the opening bid. Do we hear the first two sixty on this awesome piece of silver? That thing is just unreal, my friends. Yeah, it is a prototype. This is the only one currently ever made. Uh, of this, I don't know if I'll redo it again. It'd be it being a larger piece, but if it's requested, maybe. That thing is amazing, ladies and gentlemen. Again, that is five point two five ounces of hand poured silver, and like he said, prototype, one of a kind. How are you going to do any better than that? You know. Yeah, most of what Phoenix does is all one of a kind. Um, because most of what he does is, you know, he uses lost wax. So, you know, he he prints the stuff out himself. He doesn't. Uh, uh, he prints everything out uniquely on his own. That thing is awesome, ladies and gentlemen. Allison Silverland starting it off with two sixty. Do we hear two seventy? I see it coming soon. Two seventy. Two seventy. Do we hear two seventy? We have Alice in Silverland at 260. Sterling Cannabis in the house. How you doing, guys? What's up, Sterling Cannabis? We got Mama T's Coins, Big T Coins, Jeff Dunn, D Reese Coins and Hobby, 710 Oil Upside Down, a.k.a. Mr. Texas T. Do we hear? We're looking for 265 to stay alive. And I will Thank be... Uh, floating cases with these pieces that are no additional charge so you can display them as well uh, that is awesome ladies and gentlemen a floating case to display your piece that is unreal and like I said we're looking for 265 to stay Sweet. alive sweetening the deal yes mama T we have Raven hot coins on the auction up on panel tonight all right, so right now it says last call going once. Do we hear 265 going twice? Fair warning, fair warning, says Diane Durbin, ladies and gentlemen, for this one of a kind prototype piece of art. Do we hear 265? Is somebody going to snipe it? You never know. Boom, ladies and gentlemen, sold to Alice in Silverland for two sixty. Congratulations. Thank you very Congratulations. much. Congratulations. Wow. All righty. So, these, ladies and gentlemen. These banners I'm putting up, I'll be putting them up throughout the night. So, if you missed his email address or his PayPal address, and be sure to send it goods and services, if you missed it, it will be back up uh, on his next run. And All right. the next one up. It's a uh, Tomoko. Yep. I'm going to have to share the screen real quick here. So give me one second. No problem. Is Dean coming up to discuss this piece or, or are we just going to go with it? No. no. We, got, we got pictures. Okay. Um, it's a sand casting four ounce wolf, right? All right. Cool. We're, all right. Give me a second here. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, while we're waiting to get that up, the next item up for grabs is from the one and only Tomoko's Enterprise. Yes, you see him in the chat as himself, a.k.a. Uncle Dean. He's a great guy. It is a 
Wolf Sandcast 4 ounce piece of silver starting at $240 for this beautiful piece of hand poured silver art. What are we going to hear? Who's going to start us off tonight? What's up, Roxilla? How you doing? No, Mama T. Um, Liberty Seeker is Phoenix Fire Fine Arts. Ravenhawk is somebody completely different. <laughs> <laughs> There's a back picture, but I can't get to it. I can't. For some reason, it won't let me sh get to it. Oh, here we go. Again, ladies and gentlemen, I'm sorry about that. Uh, let me escape that. This is a four ounce sand casted awesome piece of silver art by the one and only tomoko's enterprise we're looking for 240 to start do we hear 240 are you guys seeing those pictures okay mm -hmm. it's okay. a nice 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 piece the front of it's just amazing. The amount of detail in that thing is crazy. Yeah, Tomoko uh, never uh, never disappoints. No, I've done actually quite a few trades over the years with uh, Dean, and he's a great guy. Um, his stuff is always just amazing pieces of work. <clears throat> Hold on a second, guys. I'll be right back in one second. Hey, Blue Moon B. What's going on? Blue Moon B? Yeah, right on. How's it going? Yo, me a coat, right? Rogzilla, how's it going? Sterling Cannabis, how's it going? I think we're getting the value on the raid here. Very awesome. Money Maniac, how are you doing? We got 67 people in the chat. If you guys don't mind sharing, I'd like to my thumbs up. Hey, Great. Money Maniac. Money Maniacs, I'm looking forward to seeing that shout-out video for that uh, big show uh, when you got. I can't wait to see it and see everything you got. All right, we're looking for 240, I believe Diane said. Kelly Ray, how's it going? We got it going once. Do we have anybody interested at 240? Hello, Paula Bloom. As we're looking at the 240 bucks, guys, for an OG Pours piece right here. I apologize for that, guys. I had to take care of some family yeah. stuff real quick. CSM Steph says 240. Hi, everybody. Awesome, yeah. buddy. Nice, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, it's DSM stuff at 240. And do we hear 250 to stay alive? Sorry about that, guys. I had to take care of some family stuff real quick. I apologize for walking away real fast. We actually go up, we'll go up in uh, five dollar increments. So oh. 245. Okay. So we're we're looking for 245 then, ladies and gentlemen. 245 on this awesome. Hand poured piece of silver from the one and only Tomoko's Enterprise. I mean, even look at the back. Yeah, that I, I love how he had the the stamp right there in the middle. Yeah, yeah, the thing's sick. I like that lovely piece you got of in Ravens, pretty awesome. All right, all in, all done, says Diane Durbin. Last call going once, going twice. And it looks like it's going to be sold to Steffel for 240 Ladies and gentlemen, congratulations. Right. You will not right. be right. disappointed. Congrats, Steph. Congratulations, uh, Steph. Let's see. I've yet to even go to Tomoko one day uh, though. look what's coming up hold on, hold on. All right. 
So, Red, you're going to talk about this piece before we announce the price and everything, correct? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, here is the uh, COA for the piece. It's an aluminum COA. I just had these made. It is the Venom Bar uh, 999 Fine Silver. It is seven ounces. It is the prototype. And here is the piece here. Uh, basically, so I've sand casted this into the 3D and uh, I've, I've polished it up and basically had to file each individual vein to make them pop like that. Um, now, the stamping on the back is here, 7 ounces, Troy 999, my stamp's on there as well. But yeah, so that's the piece there. That thing is unreal. Ladies and gentlemen, starting bid for this awesome piece of handmade silver is $400. You're talking seven ounces of insanely nice looking hand poured silver. Do we have an opening bid for $400? Who's going to take this piece home with them tonight? Look at all the veins in the head. There's a lot of detail. You you know, that thing is, is one of a kind as well, you know, because you had to do all that extra work. Well, it's definitely one of a kind because uh, I probably won't be pouring this ever again. Riley won't be able to do it, dude. He's, he's, even as uh, they tried his brother's phone and it won't work either. All right. Well, we got his pictures. So. Yeah. And the COA is actually aluminum, if I heard correctly. Yes, yes. Yeah, so a custom-made COA on aluminum. This thing would look really good in a display case, you know, like one of those floating ones. I mean, that thing is pretty, pretty darn sick. Let me see if I can get some better light. Looking for 400 on the 7-ounce piece. Bradley Height, how you doing, my friend? Jeff Dunn is here. Big Bank, Little Bank says, wow, that venom is sick. All righty. Sick and pure silver. Yeah. And I got some horrible light. All right, so it looks like on this one, we haven't got a bite yet. You never know. Maybe somebody will snipe at the very end. It's going once, going twice. Fair warning, fair warning. All right, we're going to close the bid on that one for now, ladies and gentlemen, and move on to a piece of copper that was poured by SHTF. It is a copper trilobite at 3.3 ounces, and the starting bid is going to be $30. And I'm sure he – is he going to be up here and talk about it real quick? I'm not sure. I'm going to ask him. Scrapping, did you want me to use the photo you sent? Yeah, I used the photos because I don't have any video tonight. Okay. <laughs> it's one of these things that Bradley can't get on. I can't get on. Okay. Okay. Um, let's see. Trilobite right there. Well, no. this is the pictures you sent me. These are the pictures that Red sent me. They should be basically the same. I, sent, I, yeah. I think I sent him the same pictures. Um, all right. Let's see here. Let's share this screen. <sighs> There it is. Come on, it's a, it's a classic fossil. Anybody that was a kid has seen this uh, has seen this fossil at some point in their life. Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. So that's the original mold, or is that the, that the final piece? Yeah, that's the copper piece. That is really cool, man. All right, guys, we're at $30 on. We got a lot of detail in it. 
yeah, the copper does really well with that. Um, it's a great metal to pour with. On the trilobite, what's the increments on your lowers, guys? You guys go by two or ones or? Yeah, I think it goes uh, in five dollar increments above a hundred. Um, anything okay. else before that is one dollar increments. All right, so we got Paul. Paul Hampton at 32. We're looking for 33. Do we hear 33 on the Trilo bite? Thank you, Paul Hampton. Phoenix Fine Arts with 33, my late friends. And we're looking for 34 to get some more. So Silver Tiger just missed it. We have Phoenix at 33. Do we hear 34? Paul Hampton says, hey, I'm going to say 35 to stay alive. Now we're looking for 36 to stay in the mix. <laughs> Man, we got 75 people in here tonight. Oh, nice. nice. 78 likes already, my friends. Not too bad. Keep hitting that like button, guys. Thank you, All everybody, right. for coming. We really appreciate it. So now we got 36. We're looking for 37. Diane Durbin likes to stay in the mix. <laughs> All right, we got 30. Oh, I'm sorry, I messed it up by a dollar. 37 is what we're now looking for. We're currently at 36 with Silver Tiger. Scott Jarvie in the house. He says he has the real thing. Uh-oh. Paul Hampton says 37. What's up, so man? We're looking for 38 to make a great zombie fighter. What's going on? George Kimball, how you doing? All right, looking for 38. Do we hear 38? Salute. All righty. We're, we're still at 37. We're looking for 38 on the Trilo Bite Fossil Copper Pour. That is a really cool piece. Paul holding strong at 37, says Diane Durbin. All in, all done. Last call. <laughs> Thank you, Alice. Alice says, uh, nice things. All right, going once. Going twice. The fair warning is up. And it's going to be sold to Paul Hampton for $37, my friends. Congratulations, Congratulations. Paul. Congratulations. Thank you, Paul. Congratulations. All right. I got to do Bradley proud on this one. This is the only piece he's got in here tonight. It's a very nice piece. He worked very hard on it. So let me get the picture up of it. It's um, huge. It's awesome. it, is a, it is a very large piece. So I will say that. Um, give me one second here. There it is. And I will say if I had the money, this is a piece I would definitely want to put in my own uh, collection. Um share the screen. God, this takes forever. I gotta find a better way to do this. Uh, there we go. All right. There is the top view. Make sure and change the banner. To uh, shoot, thank you. Let me go do that right now. Um, bah, bah, bah. There we go. Thank you. Six second piece. All right, let's get back to this here. I just want to say one thing first off. Yeah. This is poured, this is poured by a gentleman wearing the finest socks on YouTube. <laughs> socks on YouTube, yep. All right, so a little, a little blurry here, unfortunately. But, I mean, he's got it all, uh, you know, he's got it all antiqued, all the handle and everything. Um, it's all silver. Um, beautiful piece. All righty. Detail on the handle. That thing is amazing, guys. A silver shotgun at 18.945 ounces, Troy. The starting bid on this amazing piece of handmade art is $950. And, you know, you're looking at 19 ounces of silver. 
for one, and that thing is amazing, a double barrel shotgun. The yeah. detail in that is insane. You got, the tri- you got the triggers to come out. You got the whole nine yards and everything. Even the deep. Yeah, and the webbing. And webbing in the, uh, the stock as well, which yeah. is, you know, that is a very, very cool piece of work. Rocky Mountain Bear says pew. <laughs> Look at that. Stunner, man. It's a stunner. Hey, you know, Ida Herring, this is like like pocket change to Ida, so maybe Ida will want it. <laughs> Donate to somebody, you buy it. <laughs> yep. She is a mob boss, you know. Yep. Mm-hmm. Ida's a gangster, look out. <laughs> yeah. She could use that shotgun in the shop. Yep. <laughs> Pull it out on Carol if she's misbehaving. <laughs> Why are you not sewing? Why are you not sewing? Yep. Get back to work. Get at it. Six quilts a day is the quota. <laughs> that thing is unreal, though, to have that much detail. That's, that's a lot of silver. Yeah. Beautiful. Mm-hmm. And that is from the one and only Bradley Height. Yep. CM Stead says, ah, back to the sewing table. <laughs> <laughs> All righty, ladies and gentlemen, yes, that thing is amazing. And, uh, you know, maybe maybe on the next one, but we are looking for 950 if somebody is wanting this item. It is a one-of-a-kind, handmade, double-barrel shotgun. I've never seen a double-barrel shotgun that big out of silver. No, me either. I've never seen a shotgun that big out of silver, period. Yeah, that too, yeah. <laughs> that's that's an awesome, impressive piece. Yes, it is. It really is. All right, guys, we're going twice. Fair warning. I like the color of the handle, the trigger. Yeah, the you did awesome. That's awesome. At least make sure to get over there and give him some love on his channel. Paula Bloom put the link up there. And uh, the bid is currently closed on that. So next up, ladies and gentlemen. CS, hold on real quick. CSM Steph, to answer your question, anything that doesn't sell is available to purchase. You just have to contact the seller, you know, at a later date if it's just something that's not in your budget at this moment. So it just it's more first come, first serve. So you just got to bear that in mind. The longer you wait, less chance of you getting it. So... Yeah, guys, that is not a bad price for that size of piece, that amount of silver and all the work that went into it. Um, the next item coming up is from one and only John Wolf, and it is a white tiger. It's actually, it's actually a silver tiger. <laughs> right. I, I, don't know what I, was th- I don't know what I was thinking when I wrote white tiger in there. I, well, I was Three fine, three nines fine silver, seven point eight ounces, and he is looking at the starting bid to be three hundred and ninety dollars, my friends. Do we have a picture of that bad thing on there? Coming up right now. Come on, little picture. And again, wow. this is well. He's up there. He's got his. His. He's live. On oh, is he? Oh, there he is. Sweet. There it is. Oh, there it is. This is almost eight ounces of silver, and he should give them, let them know what you put into your work, my friend. Well, this piece here is, uh, uh, I used a cast iron mold, and, uh, it, and it's got some awesome uh, pore Ripple. lines on the back of it. Look at that. Ripple. Ripples are sick. I think those ripples is almost better than the front part of it. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, the stripes go to the back. Yep. Yeah, that thing has a lot of character yep. to it. Definitely beautiful tiger. And it is almost eight ounces of three nines fine silver. It's a big Very tiger. Cool. It's a pretty kitty. Mm-hmm. 
All righty. Very, very nice. Oh, this next one's really cool, too. There's some great stuff up the, tonight, guys. This thing's awesome. One of the crazy things that I'm looking forward to seeing is the chess set. That thing is unreal. All right, guys, we are all in, all done. We're going to start counting it down on the Silver Tiger. Eight ounces, ladies and gentlemen, poured silver. You cannot really beat it. Let's... And that is that is like I think just about forty something dollars an ounce. That's not too bad. Going once, going twice. Fair warning. All right, bid is closed on that one, ladies and gentlemen. But like they mentioned earlier, if you're interested in any of these pieces, they will still be up for grabs. Make sure you get a hold of the artist as soon as possible uh, because they go quick. You know, word gets out. Some people aren't able to make the auction, and they'll be really happy that they don't have to bid against somebody. So, you know. That thing is awesome. So the next thing we have coming up, ladies and gentlemen, is by the one and only Full Push Metals. It is called the Sil Silver the Prospector. It is five grams, and it is really, really cool. And we're going to have Full Push describe that really awesome piece right now. What's going on, chat? What's up, bidders? Good luck, everybody, tonight. I got to say that. Once I wish everybody good luck. So thank you, Raven. You're welcome. All right, guys. Let's see here. I'm getting my lights on, trying to save batteries, you know. <laughs> All right, guys. Up first, let's see if I can hold this little dude in my hand. We have the five gram. There we go. The five gram prospector. He is holding his pickaxe and all his beauty. He has some shovels and stuff down in the foreground of him. Nice little thin pour. Slightly poor texture back, but this little round surface right here, little half moon area right there, that is so you could place one of these nuggets if you are the winning bidder. So you're bidding on this item, then you have the choice to upgrade this piece with a gold nugget of sorts. Oop, hang on, my string got caught on the laptop. And go, guys. The bidding's going nuts for this already, full push. We're at $45 with America's Silver Patriot. Bradley Height at 48 But, guys, let him explain this awesomeness that he's going to do with the Nugget if you're the winner tonight. Right on, guys. If you are the winner, you have the choice of upgrading this piece by adding a 0.6-gram Nugget, a 1-gram-plus Nugget, or a 5-gram Gold with Quartz. This is my favorite right here. <laughs> Anyhow, you get to take that stone or that nugget piece and you set it right in that little half moon area. And that gives it the perception of him. Maybe there we go. Looks like he's trying to mine that nugget. Yeah. So that small stone is 40 for that nugget. This next nugget is 80 bucks for the over a gram. That is, that is such a cool piece, man. I really dig that thing. So, ladies and gentlemen, right now we have America at 60. Do we hear 61 just for fun? Who's going to take this thing home? And like Full Push said, you get to add yourself one of three different pieces of awesome nuggeted gold. And, you know, different prices, of course, but still a really cool very creative little piece. 
Unreal. So we got Bradley Height at 62. Do we hear 63? America Silver Patriot at 65. He's staying alive. Look out. Now, what if somebody wanted to buy all three pieces of gold? That could happen. Okay. We can we can make him flooded in gold so much he's he's wanting to say yeehaw. <laughs> a little trail of gold, one to, one little bigger piece to a bigger uh -huh. piece to the biggest. So basically, what I'm saying is, is on top of winning the piece, that all the gold is available for sale as well. You got it. Oh yeah, yeah. That's that's yeah. Guys, we got Donna Mac at seventy, ladies and gentlemen. We have a bidding war going on. We're still looking for seventy-one. David Carlisle, how you doing? Double A Ron Autry. <laughs> so A A Ron. I just I just realized we have ninety-four people in chat, ninety-five thumbs up. I think this is the best we've done so far. It's going well. Doing really well. All right, guys. So where are we at on the bid again? I lost my place there for a second. I apologize. We're looking for 67, ladies and gentlemen. Do we hear 67 for this awesome little piece? And look at that. 101 likes, my friends. Right, 101 guess. likes. That's got to be a record. No, we're, look we're looking for 71. Yeah, Donna Mac is 70. Um, didn't I? Yeah, Donna Mac is 70. Did I even? Jump at price, I apologize. Yeah, we're looking. All right, looking for 71. Sorry about that. Guys, Rocky Superstar, is that correct? He's saying oh, 110. 110 likes. Oh, 110 <laughs> likes. Be careful there, Rocky. We're right yeah. in the middle. Yeah. <laughs> you almost locked yourself a silver piece. Value Hunter at 75. Thank you, Value Hunter. Good to see Value Hunter in the mix. Value Hunter, thank you for the raid. And Value Hunter is also one of the sponsors on tonight's event, if I'm not mistaken. Hey, Value Hunter, the gold is an adder. So whatever you bid on, it's an adder, just so you know that. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Grevin. Smallest nugget is 40 added. The one gram plus is 80. And the biggest one here, the five grams, is 200. All right, do we hear 76, ladies and gentlemen? We're looking for 76 to stay in the mix. So, Value Hunter, so if you win the silver piece, that's 76. If you want to add the little bitty gold nugget onto the actual piece itself, he has a couple different sizes. One for how much again, full push? This one right here that's in, set in stone right here is 40 bucks. So that is a 0.67 gram. And the next one is a one gram nugget. It's got a little bit more character to it. It's a one gram piece right there at 80 bucks added after the uh, cost of bid. And then we have, of course, my favorite, the uh, Goliath. And that's 200 afterwards. And also a point, a point to add to this is nugget gold is worth more than bullion gold. It's a lot harder to get. When you find it like this, normally it's all destroyed. Mm -hmm. Crystallized. Value, Hunter. Crystallized nuggets. They're like uh, that one right here in the middle of that. That's like 0.4% to get that type of nugget. 0 0.004. All right. all right. Full push. Value Hunter bought it at 75. He asked you if you could email him the gold price choices after the show. Very cool. Can do that. That is you. awesome. Thank you, sir. Congrats. All Raven. right. So the next thing that we have up. Hey, Raven. Give me a, yeah. one second. I'm going to post this link in here. And we're going to draw one of these bones right quick, if you don't mind. Cool. Like after every one of my pieces, we'll just do it that way, guys, if you don't care. <laughs> we're going to do full push. going to do a little giveaway, everybody. He's going to give a dog a bone. Mm-hmm. Paula Bloom, that sounds awesome. If Val wants that piece, you just let me know, guys. I'm going to get the uh, giveaway ready right. here in the window. Leave a comment on that. It doesn't matter what you do. Leave a one-letter word. I don't think it really matters. But Hey, Nicole, on YouTube, I recognize your avatar. Right on. Zerk Farm. Hey, Zerk. 
No longer Zarek Farm. It's Nicole. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I'll still call her Zarek. Just like Joe calls me Liberty. <laughs> <laughs> What's oh up, Hayden? Gosh. What's up, Hayden? All right, a full push. So Paula Bloom wants to buy the $40 gold piece for uh, Value Hunter. Right on. Is, is Value, uh, well, either way, right on. I'm totally good with that, Paula. Thank you very much, dear. Value Hunter, you, you set up great, buddy. That's awfully nice of you, Paula. Very right cool. on. Where's right. my gold piece, Paula? <laughs> I had I'll take it's a five grammar, Paula. This <laughs> happens like right there, man. <laughs> All right, we got 44 comments. I'm gonna refresh it and give it about another one minute here. I will, uh, 44 steel. This is for a silver bone, 1.5 gram hand pour. When that turns over to 607, I'm gonna roll with it, guys. 606 steel. <laughs> but this is going to be used two more times, guys. When I st I'll keep posting a link after everything, after a person sells something. So still at 44. We're losing people in chat now, bro. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> yeah. We're, we're at 90 people right now. It's like full push prepping a, prepping a mold. <laughs> All, right. All right. Here we go. Roll with it. Winner is BR Chef number two. Nice. Nice. Right. BR Chef two. BR Chef number two. Give me an email to the same thing as my PayPal that flashes on the screen. There's right a second. There. BR, BR, Chef. BR Chef number two. Congrats. All right. So do we have uh, Dino on the Dino? Dino is he, yeah. Is he on the panel? No, he's not. I'm going to get his stuff up right now and get his pictures going right now. That's backyard trapping. Yeah, I didn't real. I didn't think about the fact somebody else is going to be reading this this thing. So uh, I didn't okay. set it up to have like backyard. Everybody's actual title on here. Um, pictures. Where's my pictures? All right. Oh yeah, eighty-seven in the chat. So you pulled everybody away, full push. <laughs> mm -hmm. They'll be bad. I was trying to get something away free, my guy. There it is. Hell Whoa. yeah, I try to get that free stuff. That's a nice gold, a little chunky thing. Mm -hmm. And so how are we determining for the Ida Herring giveaway? Is that a comment video or what? No, that one? No, no. I'm going to, I'm going to give Brian a number or something. And then um, I'm going to write the number down as well. And then it'll be pick a number. We got a lot of people in here for that. That's going to be interesting. All right, guys. So the next item up to bid is a large silver skull. Coming in at 6.6 .6 ounces, poured by the one and only Backyard Scrapping. This thing is really, really cool. And like we said, we're looking for an opening bid of 330. The mad scientist, BYS. <laughs> Sterling, 12 billion. Sold the Sterling for 12 billion. Right. <laughs> uh, that thing is that thing is huge, man. That's beefy. Put it put in a sock and go to town. You could hurt somebody and still put it back. <laughs> Come on, do we have some interest at three thirty? That is a epic. I I really like the polishing you did on it. Hundred and twenty one likes in the chat. Look at that. Thank you, everybody. 
All right, guys. So last call, last chance to get in on this. We got it going once. Yep, Henry, we still have the chest set. And the one of one coming up. Going twice. Fair warning. Fair warning. All right, the bid is closed, but ladies and gentlemen, like we stated before, if you have any interest in any of the items that were not auctioned, you can still contact the artist directly and try to negotiate something with them and make sure you do it as fast as possible because supplies are very, very limited to one. <laughs> All righty, so next item up for grabs is coming from the one, the only VC Coins Nevada, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, is VC on the panel right now? No. All righty, so this is a silver pocket watch and for 4.2 ounces of silver and uh the starting bid is going to be 190 i'm sure we do we got a picture of it anywhere coming up or uh brian sorry i'm working on it right now okay i didn't realize i was freaking muted oh i hate when i do that <laughs> Sitting here talking to myself. <laughs> I've, I've, I've made a I've Now, what this is, is this is a, this is a sand cast of a silver pocket watch. And we put this up last month. Unfortunately, he didn't have any pieces for this month. Uh, so we thought, what, you know, what the heck, we'll give it another, we'll give it another try. All righty, guys. So that is a 4.2 ounce silver pocket watch. And the starting bid is actually not too bad. And we are looking for 190 to start. If you are interested, it is available. Very nice piece. Looking for 190. It's a one of a kind. VC Coins Nevada. Whoops. <laughs> Diane Durbin says, I see a double die on the reverse. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> yep, double died. Doubled. Alexander Smith says, that's a nice piece. I agree. What's up, Sharp Eye for Coins? How you doing? Definitely too many to list. There's a lot of great people in here. We got 100 people watching in the chat. 122 thumbs up, my friends. Nice. And, nice. Uh, yeah, you can't go wrong. And, you know, there's something to be said about seeing this many channels get together to support one another. And the things that are going to be coming in the future, guys, is just going to get better and better. So keep your eyes peeled. 100%, 100%. And if you guys ain't subscribed to the channel, please make sure you guys do. We'd really appreciate that. Definitely. Please subscribe to all the moderators, the poor metal guys, everybody helping out with this. It, it means a lot, and it helps everybody out quite a bit. All right, guys, so we got it going once, going twice. Fair warning, and it looks like we might. Can we get a snipe? You never know. You never know. Now we're at 104 people in chat, 124 likes. Very, very cool. All right, ladies and gentlemen, looks like the bid is closed on the VC Coins Nevada pocket watch. And we are going into the giveaway. I just give away. Yes, oh, sir. Right. Let me now, get this up on screen. Give me one minute here. Um, cool. For those of you that do not know, Ida Herring makes some beautiful custom handmade quilts and bed covers and duvets. I mean, she is a one-stop shop when it comes to bedroom accoutrements for your bed. 
And uh, she put up this awesome quilt, guys. Yeah, and, there's nothing like uh, nothing like Ida's Ida's stuff. Nobody does it better. Yeah, she's awesome. And that is it right there. Purple. I think I would, I would freak out if I won it. <laughs> I'd be like, no way. So, so guys, this is how we're going to do this. It's going to be one guest per person in chat. Um, when you see my go and the number range, then you guys will start guessing. Um, not until you see the go in chat. And once you guys, uh, whoever wins, please email Ida Herring. Ida Herring, if you can throw up your email in the chat, I'd appreciate it. Um, but anyways, guys, so yeah, one guest per person. Email Ida Herring. Ida Herring, if you can throw up your email in the chat, I'd appreciate it. Who's got the echo? I did. I had, I had, I had, to, I had to reload the chat. On, right. the, on the YouTube side. So here we go, guys. Good luck, all. Remember, people, only one guest, so if we don't hit it the first time, So close. <laughs> All right, so it looks like probably everybody's had one guess by now. Man, well, they're still kind of tinkering in, but okay. Well, okay, so someone want to put in. Stop and we will go again after. Make sure you guys look at all the other numbers in chat. And uh, one more guess. Go. Between 1 and 150, guys. Oh, it's like I can't enter this. <laughs> really? Who's it going to be? Cuddling up with something warm tonight. <laughs> A lot of you are picking the same numbers that I've already picked. Okay, you know what? Just just keep guessing. Wide open. Free for all. It's wide open. <gasps> Go for it. Tip your heart so. I hope y'all are watching because this gets moving pretty fast. Yeah, I'm watching. There it went. I just lost it. Yeah, <laughs> it went way quick. <laughs> I just caught it before it went stir crazy. But I'm having to shuffle through it. I'm at the start of it. I don't know the number, so. It's all right. I can confirm. You know what I'm saying? I am at the goal. Oh, that thing's so crazy fast. Yeah. I'm not going to the number because I can't uh, <laughs> keep up with it. I don't even know the number, so I can't help. Right. Same here. That's why I'm guessing. <laughs> yeah, that's why I'm guessing too. I'm just like, whatever. I'll just keep putting the numbers. <coughs> Is there a hint? <laughs> yeah, right. Where you may have to do this differently. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm, hold I'm on, looking. hold on, hold on. We got it. Yeah, we got it. 
All right, stop, 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 stop. Okay, I'm scrolling here still. So wait, just give me a second. I even lost it. I can't even see it at the top. So give me a second. Yeah, I got it. I got it controlled. Yeah, I don't read out the number or anything. No, I'm not. Oh, you already clicked stop, right? Yeah, I got it controlled here. So all right, just let me just keep scrolling here until I see it. All right, so I see. Uh, let me just message you, Brian. Make sure it's the same one. All right. Cool prize, though, Ada. Great work, dear. That's, That's an awesome one. blanket. That's who I see. I don't have anything. No. Do you? Yeah. Yeah, that's not who I see. Really? Yeah. Let me go down a little further. So I'll tell the number and then maybe the mods can help out. So the number we have is number 103. 103. I see Alexander Smith on my, the first one on my screen, but I can't go that far. <laughs> up, but I see Alexander Smith. So I saw the chat. I stopped the chat when I opened it up, and the first person I seen was Sharp Eye for coins. And the first one that I seen was Jesse O. Well, that's <laughs> not fast. <laughs> I'm not able to go past. See yeah. further back. Yeah, it's not gonna pass because. <laughs> Three nineteen p.m. Well, three nineteen here. Was Jesse O. Uh, and I got Sharp Eye with coins before that at 109. Okay, so Sharp Eyes was before Jesse O, right? No, I'm saying Sharp Eye for coins before Jesse O, I see 109. <laughs> we should have a wrestle for it. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, I've seen them at 103. Yeah, I'm looking back. I'm Fuck. I knew this was going to get crazy. <laughs> I should have been smart and just paused it as soon as Red said go, because then I could have held the whole thing. Well, and that's what I did. I paused it. Oh, then you got it? First person I seen was Sherpai. As I was scrolling through. Hold on, hold on. I think I know what Sharp Eye is doing. That's what I got with Sharp Eye. I just went through it from the go. Damn. Well, I'm at the top. I'm at the top, so. At least I'm at the top at my end. I can't go up any higher. There's 15 to the next one on my screen. But Sharp Eye's going to We are sorry for the delay. The correct number was 103. <clears throat> Joe, Diane, can you guys scroll up that high or no? Yeah, I can't scroll up any higher, so. And mine refresh now, so hold on. Let me see if I can get up there. Right. I had sharp bad and 15 more was Alexander Smith. Okay, that's what you have? Yeah. Okay, where do you see Jesse O? I don't see Jesse O. Okay, let's see here. Uh, Alexander with 15, so 16, 17, 18, 19. So, okay, hold on. I just got a confirmation here from Shane. He's He even confirms that he's seen Sharp Eye before Jesse O. Okay. Yeah, because it got, it got crazy on my side. I mean, I yeah. stopped it, and then as soon as I started up, it, it jumped. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, Shane just said Sharp Eye, then Jesse O about 20 later. And then uh, Alexander. 
Yeah, so a lot later on that. It's like thirty-five off the winner. Thirty-five or forty off the winner. Either way, good guess, Jesse O. And congrats to the winner, Sharp Eye. Out of each info. Yeah. All right. So Sharp Eye for coins it is. Yeah. Sharp Eye for coins. Yeah. Congratulations, Sharp Eye. Send us either an email, please. And then we'll here. I'll show the number here on the piece of paper if y'all want to see. Him. All right. So are we good? Yeah. All right. Congrats, winner. Yeah, we'll we'll pick we'll figure out to do the giveaway somewhere right now. I got a comment video. Uh, oh, that's a comment wheel. You can't use a comment wheel. My video was up and ready. Yeah, but we can't do the comment thing. No, I was just thinking about that right now. Oh, we'll just keep it. We'll just keep it to one guest per person. That way, we can keep better track. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. You're good, to, you're good to go, Raven Hot. All righty. So the next item we have up for bids is by the one, the only Phoenix Fire Fine Arts. It is a Silver Eagle head, 7.05 troy ounces of beautiful hand poured silver. Starting bid we're looking for is $350. And uh, there it is right there. Phoenix can talk about it to you guys. Yeah, uh, so pretty much just everything you said there. It's a uh, solid silver eagle head. Um, some call it a parrot head. Those names shall be uh, left unsaid. But uh, yeah, <laughs> you can name him Polly. You can name him whatever you want to name him if you get him. But, That's uh, it's called the Peagle. The Peagle, yes. High, high details on this. I mean, the feathers and everything. So I'm very, very happy with this piece that the way it turned out, the eyes. I left some natural toning in it after the fact. <clears throat> I poured this a while back and let it set. And uh, it has some gold toning in between the feathers as well as in the eye sockets, whatnot. But it is a beautiful piece. Yeah, that thing is awesome. And that's one of the beauties of having hand poured silver is, you know, it's more meant to be handled and touched and whatnot. So that makes it a cool piece to add. And for seven ounces plus starting at 350, you're not doing too bad, ladies and gentlemen. You guys, see him, Steph, starting off at 350. Do we hear 355 to stay alive? Thank you, see him, Steph. Thank you, yeah. Somebody had previously mentioned about trying to use it for a bottle opener. I wouldn't recommend that due to it being silver, but again, you can do with it as you wish. I mean, it's like a fallout item for the stack. It's stack plus it's fallout. You know, Polly's <laughs> became such a mascot. <laughs> yeah, Polly's he's a cool piece, man. Uh, I don't know if he'll ever make another one, but uh, it's I, I I love the detail that came out in him. Yeah. Yeah, I wish the camera did it more justice. Is that not clear for y'all? Can y'all see it it's, clearly? It's good, but it just is. Yeah. It comes and goes. It's real good. Like it'll be real good, and then it'll kind of fuzzy for a second, and then it'll come back real good. Okay. You need to kill some of that light or something, bro. I think that's what it is. <laughs> See him step and how about a nose picker? That's risky. Mm. Uh, it might leave a mark. I mean, I, I make a good video unboxing and yeah, just jar. like just like Tomoko Enterprise just said, I want my pieces to be handled. Yeah. Mm hmm. It gives them character over time as well, you know. What's up, Dakom? Follow. <laughs> <laughs> Uh oh, Decone 710. Says, I'm waiting to see who pours. What happened? What happened, <laughs> Decone? <laughs> the realistic turd. <laughs> Paula. 
Paula, Paula says she'll handle Dean's piece anytime. Look out, Paula. <laughs> Guys, well, Steelers well. stacker at 355 to stay alive. Thank Are we getting so 360 that. on the next one? Steelers stacker sniped it to 355. What's up, Masked Man? How you doing? Yeah, 7.05 ounces, Troy. That thing is gorgeous, ladies and gentlemen. Mm -hmm. Honestly, if I had the money, I'd buy every piece. What's going on? Yeah, you and me both. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Steelers made a, uh, a good uh, a good point. It's Steelers stack or not Steeler because there's two guys, two different guys. Yeah. Oh, it's two individuals? <clears throat> yeah. One just got an S on his name. Uh, yeah. Hello, Steeler and Steelers stack. Well, that's <laughs> how, how close of a name can you get? One one letter off. Yeah. <laughs> I'm right. for, there's going to be a Raven Hawks coin coming up. I'm just kidding. All right, guys. So we're looking for 360. It's going once. Do we hear 360 to keep it nifty? Going twice. Fair warning. Will this get sniped? Or will it be sold for three fifty five? Sorry, three sixty. Sold. Steelers. Thank you, Steeler Stacker. Congrats, <laughs> All right. Thank you, Steeler Stacker. Hope you enjoy Polly as much as I have. That mm -hmm. is awesome. Congratulations. All right. Next up is Tomoko. Let me get his. Uh, Photograph up here real quick. Actually, his banner first. All right, guys. From the one, the only Tomoko's Enterprise coming up next. We have Silver Woman over Silver Skull. This is a sand cast pour at excuse me, 6.2 ounces Troy. Starting bid we're looking for is three hundred and seventy two dollars. We gotta yeah. get his picture up there. Uh, okay. Steelers stacker, yes, it's three fifty five plus eight fifty for shipping. Yes, sir. And that was to the <clears throat> Liberty Secret Coins at gmail dot com for PayPal. Uh, goods and services, please. Brian, can you zoom in on that picture? Mm hmm. There's so much detail, I can't even tell what I'm looking at. It's crazy. Down here at the bottom, there's a skull. It's woman over skull. Mm -hmm. So down here at the very bottom, there's a skull. Looks like it's got a uh, what kind of tattoo on its top? Uh, tribal looking tattoo. I know. And then up here at the top is the woman's face and her headdress. Hmm. It just, uh, there's so much bling coming off the light. It just makes it hard to see all the detail. Yeah. Yeah, yeah she has yeah, it's not, not mask. doing justice for it because that thing is gorgeous. Yeah, I can I see know. it perfectly. I'm, see, I'm seeing everything right now. It's awesome. Skull's got some fire detail, all the teeth. It's got flame work looking on, on it. And then, uh, if my, uh, stupid thing would, uh, allow me to, there we go. There There's the back. Nine 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 fine silver. All right, so it looks like we're at last done, last call going once. Make sure, guys, again, to know that if you want any of the pieces that weren't sold yet, that you can contact any of the artists directly, and they can work out something with you. And remember, these will still go pretty quick. So if you want to get your hands on them, you've got a short period of time. Bid is closed, my friends.
All right, so we're going to start under the next item here in just a second. Let me take a look at the list to see what's coming up. Oh, guys, this one is, it is. is the coup de gras of the evening, and I'm going to let Mr. Red speak on this one. He's put so much work into it, and it's such an awesome piece. So here we go. All right. Let me, uh, 134 likes, gentlemen. Red, you want me to take your banner down for right now? <laughs> uh, yeah, please. All right. So y'all ready for this? Let's do it. This is the one-of-a-kind silver chess set made out of three nines fine silver. Got this, this piece here, this is the COA for it. It's the only COA made with my logo on it uh, for my main channel. And there's the information on the back. It's three nines fine. It is 34.6 ounces Troy. Okay. And uh, each piece was individually sand cast to complete this entire set. Okay. Like I poured 200 and something ponds to get the original 16 to come out. As you can see, I've made these pieces as flawless as I can. Um, they even got the felt bottoms. That way they don't scratch along the chest set. Um, we got the rainbow tone side and the shiny side. And then we also have the silver timer clock to go with it. And smack dab in the middle of that clock is the Redneck Metals logo. So that is a set. I have about 337 and a half hours into completing this set. Guys, each piece was individually sand cast, filed, polished, the whole nine yards. Um, and then on top of that, we've had three move general. It little, move it down a little red. Okay. Just a little bit. And then on top of that, we've had three generous uh, donators to go towards this chess set. So whoever wins this chess set uh, will be getting a box of has from Mad Stacker. Uh, in his live stream, whatever silver is found in that box of halves, they will get to keep. Then we also have a donation by our sponsor, Raven Hot Coins, who has donated a $100 credit towards his live stream, um, which will guarantee you two ounces of silver and two uh, grabs out of his Raven Hot um, Relic bag, which guarantees you 90% silver. And then on top of that, uh, America Silver Patriot donated a three ounce plus silver pour. It is a pour of a deer. Uh, a deer round. Oh, uh, so hold on. As soon as I get it up here, I'll share it. Okay, so that'll be going with this set as well. So not only guys are you guys getting this chest set, but you're also guaranteed another five plus ounces of silver on top of that. Um, but yeah, so I mean, it took a lot of time to make this, guys. I know it's a high price, um, but I mean, realistically. It's not that high if you think about it. I've seen other chess sets, uh, you know, even made out of pewter that are uh, going for upwards of, you know, ten to twenty thousand dollars. So there's there's the there's the America piece up on the screen now. Cool. Thank you, Brendan. So yeah, guys. So we are starting this out at thirty five hundred dollars. Um, you know. And uh, I know there's been a lot of interest over it. And, uh, yeah, I'll let you take it away from here, Ravenhawk. All righty. So, ladies and gentlemen, like you was saying, the amount of work that has gone into this is insane. We're literally talking 200 separate pawns were poured just to get 16 that he considered good enough to have in the set. So the amount of time that, it, that has been put into this is unreal. And then the extra stuff that we have had people add to it to try to um, definitely uh, entice it is really, really cool. You have the clock that goes along with it, which I thought is really awesome extra detailing. And the fact that the uh, rainbow toned versus the polished silver is unbelievable and if you guys go to look a lot of these up they are unreal as far as the amount of money it costs for a semi-precious metals uh set one you can't find them for sale 
and a lot of them have paint on them instead of doing what red did mm -hmm. uh, to make them different a lot of people will actually paint them or put stickers on them to make them you know appear different right and so you know that comes with the the board the all the pieces the clock the items from the different sponsors and uh you know just a really 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 cool item and I have confidence that no matter what, this thing's going to sell one way or another. Um, but I think it's awesome that Red kept his word. He told people he had put it up for auction first, which makes me think there's been some nice legitimate offers put on the table. But he still gave you guys a good chance at this. Yep. Good to see Nicole on YouTube. That's on your tube, not YouTube, on your tube. AKA, I, I know who that is. Oh, that's Zarek Farm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Hey, SJ's Mixed Adventures is here. How you doing, SJ? What's up, SJ? Cheap and John says, let me check bank account real quick. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So. If, if Jeep and John ends up getting this, then he'll end up getting one heck of a deal, I still think, because like you said, you have the chess set and everything that goes with it. You have a full box of halves that'll be searched, and if any silver is in that, that'll go to the winner, as well as a $100 spot on my show, which will guarantee you two ounces of premium silver and two pulls out of my Raven Relic bag, which you can redeem at any time. Then you have the three ounces hand-poured Silver item done by America's Silver Patriot. Guys, Jeeping John Boom. with a $3,500. No way. Get it. Really, Jeeps? Nice. Look at that. Damn. Freaking awesome. Hell yeah, Jeep. All right. My tag group. Awesome, Jeep. Oh, we are looking for. 36. 36 in the mix, guys. If you got $3,600, you're going to get a lot of cool stuff. And like we said, you know, here's the thing. Now Jeep and John, if he ends up being the one that purchases this, he gets a whole bunch of extra cool stuff on top of it. You know, a couple hand, some hand poured stuff, some premium silver from my channel, and so on. Jeep throwing the boom down like that. Yep, that's awesome. That was so hard it almost broke the glass with the chest set. Dude, that's <laughs> that's a pretty legit uh bid. <laughs> Last call. Go on, on. Can we just draw it out for a minute? I'm just taking the lead of the, the chat there for you, but I feel you. Hope the breaks. <laughs> you got cheap sitting at 35. We're looking for a 3600. Uh, give it time, please. <laughs> yeah, I am going to miss this a little bit, but I go on. <laughs> You'll, you'll have to play a couple games before you pack it up. Right. Take pictures of you playing. Not do a video of it. Yep. Should have you come to your neck of the wood and you all play a game together. Or whoever wins. Hmm. That'd be awesome. You know, what's funny though is I live real close to Jeep. So I'll be playing chess on that maybe. <laughs> All right, Diane, feel free to call her down. All right, guys, we're looking for 3,600. Is somebody going to snipe this bad boy? It's one of a kind, guys. There'll never be another one of this style made again. I, I think he, he's, you know, here's the thing. It comes down to uh, an investment, and Diane's saying it is sold to the one and only Jeep and John for $3,500. Congratulations, Jeep. 
Yeah, you have now broke red, you have now broken redneck metals record for the biggest purchase ever made. Yeah. Got that badge of honor, brother. Yep. Awesome. Awesome, brother. And no shortage of work went into that by any means. Boy, did we watch him for months work on that thing. So Jeep Jeep and John, um, uh, Send me an email um, <clears throat> or message me on Facebook or something. And if you want me to ship this through FedEx or U UPS or regular uh, USPS, let me know. Um, and I'll let you know on the shipping uh, what, it, what it will cost. Um, but, yeah, so um, obviously the shipping will cost a little bit extra than 850 but, you know, uh, well worth it, man. Well worth the peace. Like I said, Yay. time, brother. And uh, congratulations on that, man. Awesome. All right, I will pack this up for him while you guys move on to the next people. All right, congratulations, Jeep and John. Congratulations. The next piece. Oh, I'll let you call it. <laughs> no problem, man. All right, guys. So coming up next from S. HTF scrapping, hoarding, tinkering, fun. We have a copper double crab, 3.5 ounces with a starting bid of only $30. So get your bids in there, ladies and gentlemen, for some nice hand poured copper. And there it is, right there the crab. Looking crabby. Guys, Steeler Stacker with a $50 bid. Ladies and gentlemen, Steeler Stacker is serious on this piece. Do we hear 51 just for fun? That's awesome. Steeler Stacker in with the double crab. <laughs> Throwing up there for international stacker. Yep, Steelers at fifty guys. Um, he he came in strong and hard. He knew what he wanted. He's not messing around at all. Kind of cool, Nicole. On your tube, asked if you have any goat pours. <laughs> no, unfortunately not, Nicole. We don't. But you Doesn't can get in touch with with a few of uh you know any of the uh pourers and i'm sure we can either get it for you or get you pointed in the right direction oh we can get something made for you no problem just send us an email at uh wait just send me an email at redneck.stacker at gmail.com and if i can't do it i'm sure one of the guys can so we'll get to we steal it red i'm saying if i <laughs> if i can somebody can just to go with the pile. Red's like, just, just, I, I got you covered. It's okay. <laughs> there you go. John Wolf says in the in the chat, I can do it, Nicole. I got you. There you go. Good to see SJ's mixed adventures. The only female that's part of the Redneck Metals group. So make sure you guys show some love if you don't already know her. What's up, sir? Go yeah. very ahead. nice to bring her experience over to uh, Redneck Metals. It's going to be great. Mm -hmm. Not only that, guys, it also hopefully inspires other females in the community to start doing some pouring. You know, that'd be really cool as well. And, you know, but you're right. SJ's got a quite a bit of experience by now with pouring um, sand casting and whatnot. Draco's Dragon says, who is SJ? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. All yeah, right. Here, here I thought Draco's Dragon was SJ's stalker. <laughs> His best, best friend. All right. So we are going once, going twice. And it really looks like the 50 is going to be the spot for this pour. Well, so... To Steeler for fifty. Thank you, Steeler oh. Stacker. Appreciate you, brother. Good win, good win. 
All right, guys. This All next right. item coming up by the one and only John Wolf is unbelievable. It is 12 and a half, basically 12.49 ounces Troy Silver Long Here Long Here Longhorn Steer Skull. Three fine three nine fine silver starting bid six twenty five and here he is to talk about that awesome piece. All right. The Longhorns uh Fear Skull. Uh all the way from the long star long star state of Texas. It's a sand cast. Um I say uh, awesome awesome piece with uh Plenty of weight behind it. Uh, uh, a ruler. It's got a uh, four or five inch uh, horn five inch span. Yeah. And uh, it's a real hefty piece. It's a three dimensional skull. Um, I've got the horns toned, uh, antiqued or toned, as you want to call it. And, uh, it's a beautiful piece. That thing is awesome. You can tell you put a lot of work into that and, uh, really something to elevate somebody's stack. I love the antiquing on the horns as well. That that is really cool detail. And uh, the sub <clears throat> three hundred eight Bushmaster. The weight on that is it says twelve point four nine. Yeah, ounces, Troy. So right at twelve and a half ounces. Piece. Yep, very nice. Just don't drop it on your foot because it's going to go right through a little part of it. Um, who won the pre start stream bone half ounce? BR Boy. Chef 2. BR Chef 2. Yes, BR Chef. Now, whoever's writing on the list, would you, if you're not already doing it, would you do me a favor and write in who wins those giveaways? I got them down. I got the Arrowhead giveaway, which would be tied to the end, and I can add the other ones as I go. Okay. Now, I don't know what Bradley's putting in for that in the okay. screen. Um, did I not send you a picture of them coins? No. Oh, crud. Okay. Well, we'll just do we'll just do, we'll just do full push just pour then. No, we do Bradley's. It'll just be mystery coins. Okay. Right on. Or you can tell us in the chat either way. Mystery coins from Bradley Height. There you go. Madman of the desert. He might have put in the cool stock. We're looking for six five for this lovely bullhorn pour. And that is a very reasonable price for that amount of silver on top of it. There's a lot of silver in that piece. Oh, wow. Um, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of tearing packing this up. <laughs> Saying goodbye. No, Saying goodbye. Don't, get, hey, don't get none of those tears on the, on the freaking silver. <laughs> <laughs> so, John, was that a, a first pour success or was that a multi pour that you had to do to get that? That's pretty cool. Um, it, All right, it, guys. It so took me two like... tries to get it. I was, I was lucky. Two? Okay. I, like I say, I got real lucky. I got it on the second try. All right. So, the bidding is closed on the 12 and a half ounce bowl. Um, guys, if you guys are interested in any of the items that have closed bids, remember you can contact the person that made the item directly and, uh, you know, try to make a deal that way. And you'll see how much of a good deal that that last piece was because the next one coming up 
is a really cool one by the one and only Full Push Metals. Uh, this is the Silver Gavel coming in at 6.5 ounces Troy. He's looking at a starting bid of $650. I have a feeling there's going to be a fight for this. No, the uh, start bid was uh, 300 bucks. Yeah. Sorry about this. All right, baby. Oh, is this somebody on the sheet? It's got a, a I'm looking at the sheet. All right, 6.5 oh. ounces. That's probably where you're getting the 650. Uh, it's right. $150 on the sheet. He's right. All right, we'll change that. It's starting out at three fifty. Okay. All right. So then uh, here, uh, half price, half price, high rollers deal. Look at that. There we there go. go. Starting <laughs> bid from me. <laughs> Raven Hawk at three fifty. Do we hear three fifty five? Goodbye, Daryl USA. Uh, Thanks, ma'am. I know there was a few people interested in this piece. Super high polish handle. Joe Durbin at 400. It does Joe Durbin at 400. It does I come knew. with a pair of gloves, so you got gloves I, to wear with it. I knew I knew Joe was eyeing that up. Hmm. <laughs> we got Raven Hawk at 405. We hear 410. <clears throat> Silver gavel. That's an awesome piece right there. We got Joe at 425. Do we hear 430? He ain't playing. Sterling Cannabis says, does the handle screw in? No, it's one solid piece. One solid piece for maximum strength. Probably. So slam, that, slam that down and sold. The weight is six and a half ounces, Des Logic. We are looking for 435, Mr. Ravenhawk Coins. Oh, 430, says Ravenhawk. It's on you, Joe. It's on you. We got two yeah. auction houses fighting over the silver gavel. <laughs> All right. We here, 435. Looking for 435. What have you, Mr. Durban? Dude, whoever he said, he said 440 bucks. What was that? End of stream is changing a little bit. Okay. Bang. We have Joe at 440. Do we hear 445? 445. No, we're not looking for 45, 445. Uh, you, usually your pinky gets that, them extra numbers in there, and now you're missing them. <laughs> Wonderful thinking, right? <laughs> All right, Joe. Let's say you, Ravenhawk. How's it going, Johnny Johnny Duck? I was gonna say Ray probably asking the other half. Yeah, <laughs> gotta ask the wife. Gotta ask the wife to <laughs> dig into her purse to see what she's got. He says, That's all I got in my wallet. You gotta get my allowance. Give me a second. He said, he said 450. Boom. The wife must have had a 20 laying in there. We here 455. Joe says he's out. Thank Joe Durbin says he's out. He's already spent the money out of his wife's purse. <laughs> you know, Diane, I'm just, Diane, I'm just saying, okay, it would be an epic Christmas gift for under the tree for Joe. <laughs> Joe Durbin, you too, brother. I I really really I wanted this thing and uh, I got it. I appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> Woo!
<laughs> oh, come on, Joe. Don't give up. <laughs> yeah, I forgot about the first. So, oh, and I Raven moved it to Ravenhawk before you could search the purse. Look at that. Nice. All right. All right. Now, now, Raven. Full, now, full push can't say I never paid premium for something. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, bidders. Great. Hey, that was that was an awesome. That's an awesome piece, and it's gonna be used very, very much. You know, I don't. It's not just gonna sit and collect dust. It'll actually be used when I have auctions. There we go, brother. I'm sorry, Joe and Diane. You know what? Maybe maybe I can rent it out once in a while. <laughs> <laughs> add, add salt to injury, man. <laughs> I'm kidding. I, I I just I had to tease a little. I know that he wanted it. it actually, um, I had a little bit higher budget, so I'm I'm happy where where it landed for me. That was scary. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> Sir Gold for a small fee rent rental fee, yes, sir. And I will be doing a definite shout out slash uh, unboxing when I get that in my hands. Nice, right on. Yeah, bro. nice. All right, so enough about me. Let's get into the next item. Um, it is a silver ten ounce bar. Casted by the one, the only backyard scrapping guys, and uh, is that price correct on there? I just want to make sure real quick, guys. Uh, yep. All right. So we're looking at a starting bid of five hundred for the ten ounce silver bar from backyard scrapping. The mad scientist himself, man, turned silver into Windex looking water and back into a silver bar. So now it says poured from from uh, crystal silver. Is that stuff that backyard scrapping has refined himself? Ah, yes, it is. Yeah. Thank you for putting yeah. that out, scrapping. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, that all that all comes out of like e waste. Right, right. So this uh, this bar here isn't isn't just a bunch of. You know, maple leaves or ASCs melted down, and then here you go. Here's the bar. This is hey. something this guy took and refined out of electronics uh, and turn it back into silver crystal. And like uh, Full Push said, turns it silver nitrate and then puts it into a silver cell, pulls crystal out of it, and it melted it down. So there you go. Yep. So it's probably three nines fine plus. A lot of cool crystals he melted down. Oh, it breaks my heart. Yeah. Oh, oh it breaks my heart. <laughs> it doesn't break his heart. He just makes more. Yeah, I know. <laughs> That's what's cool. He makes it rain silver crystal. Uncle Dino. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is actually very cool. And it's got the, the ripples in the bar as well. Nice. Giant chunk. He's a stamping master. He can put Take some skill. On the, if on the back of an ant's ass. When he puts <laughs> oh, Dean? Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. Dino. Yeah, Dean from Tomoko's Enterprise. You know, he sends those little bitty uh, tiger heads, and I'm always, I look at it, and I'm like, man, you stamped that? <laughs> right on. Yeah, it's yeah. like uh, Mahune. <laughs> He, he, he stamps, yeah, Manahune, he stamps some stuff that's unbelievable, like microscopic. Yeah, he's got some skill. Tomoko's saying he thinks the silver is more closer to four nines. Yeah, it probably is. That's why I was saying three nines plus, because when you refine it down like that, you're you're taking all that impurity out of it. Yeah, it's yeah. like growing pure crystal. What's up, Kellen L? Team SHTF in the house. Along with, I know my boy Steeler Stackers in the house too. Mike Wolf. Very, very cool. All right, guys, are we getting any any interest? Or are we going to be closing this one out? What's up, Mike Wolf? Oh. 
What's up, Mike Wolf? What's up, Miss Canadian Scrapper? King and Queen stacking. And speaking of King and Queen stacking, King and Queen, I have not forgotten about your sticker. I still got your email with your address, so I'll be getting it out to you. In fact, I'll send it out this week. I got some things I got to put in the mail this week, so I'll send it out this week. Cal now, no, you did not miss it. You did not miss it. Uh, yeah, King and Queen, did you get your package finally? Come on, man. Put it in the chat. Send me 400 emails. I want to make sure you got it. <laughs> <clears throat> what a Mustang, Dave. Good to see you, brother. Thank Good Dave. to see a lot of faces in here. Guys, 144 likes on the auction so far tonight. That That's is awesome. awesome. We got Mike Wolf. Oh, oh, oh. We got multiple wolves in the house. <laughs> yes, we do. All right. So going twice, says Diane Durbin. Is somebody going to hit this? You just never know. They might snipe it at the end. What's up? In the bar. <laughs> I can't yeah, agree. Not, no, not yet. It took seven months. <laughs> <laughs> seven months to make that bar, guys. Wow. It closed. All right. That one is closed. But, hey, if you're interested, it's still up for grabs, ladies and gentlemen. Make sure to contact the artist. We are at a giveaway time in the auction and since this one is uh from me it's pretty easy to explain so what's up for grabs ladies and gentlemen is a 50 dollars spot on a raven hawks coins live stream where we search a box of silver halves and look for you know or box of halves looking for silver i should say uh, you get a 50 dollar credit and that will allow you a one ounce premium silver round as well as a pull from the raven relic bag and uh you guys can yeah. do the giveaway however you want though i'm yeah well this is how we're going to do it none of the members of the redneck metals can guess okay this is just for the other community people i am going to put the number in chat it's one guess per person number is going to be between one and 150. So once you see Ravenhawk type go in the chat, you guys can continue on bidding. Or not bidding, but uh, you know what I mean. <laughs> Get your guesses in. All right, there we go. Stop, ladies and gentlemen. Stop. We already have a winner. Please stop your guesses. <coughs> uh, color out, Ravenhawk. Uh, I've only seen it once anyway, so. Oh, I didn't see the number. Yep. It's in, it's in the uh, it's in the private chat on StreamYard. Oh, okay. Hold on. Let me uh, get over there, guys. Number. You want me to say the number? Yeah. Say the. Oh number. yeah, say number eighty-seven, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, who was the first person you saw with it? I see zombie fighter. I that's see. That's who I see. Zombie fighter. Yeah. That's yeah. what I see. Yeah, I have zombie fighter, and then right after him, Decone guest forty-seven. So it looks like guys. Zombie Fighter with a $50 win, and he can actually redeem that anytime he would like, except this next show I'm sold out for Thursday um, already, which shocked me because there's uh, three boxes for that day. All right. Um, somebody be sure to share Ravenhawk's uh, uh, channel in the chat so uh, oh, Zombie God. Fighter knows where to find him. Just here. Oh, says, excellent. Thank you, Paula. Right on. I just seen it. Thank just here you. says we'll be reminded at the end of stream of items still available. Yes, just here. I don't think that should be a problem to read through the list of things that did not get sold during the auction. Right, Brian? Yeah, that yeah, shouldn't be a problem. I don't see a reason why we can't. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to get right into this. The next item up for grabs is a silver wolf skull pendant. 
It's 18.6 grams, and this is actually poured by Phoenix Fire Fine Arts, ladies and gentlemen. Starting bid at a mere $30. Yep. That's pretty much all we got right there. I'm trying to move myself into making more custom jewelry pieces. And this is uh, pretty much my first piece. So nice. uh, doing the wolf skull pendant. I'm pretty happy with it. Still got some learning to do, but uh, starting that, out, I think it's pretty dang good. That is a really, dude, that is an awesome piece, man. I love the detailing in it and the fangs of the, the, the mouth going there and everything. Now, does the jaw articulate, or is it just one? It's one solid piece, right? It's all one solid fixed piece, yeah. That's still pretty pretty slick, man. Matter of fact, it's so slick that bidding's already up to forty six dollars, and uh, so we're looking for forty seven to stay in heaven. <laughs> mm. I still got my training wheels on. Eventually, I'll be able to do some pretty cool stuff. Maybe next so, year we'll see what happens. No. Last year, and that's pretty cool looking right there. I mean, it looks like you're getting off to a good start. Yeah, he, say, he says training wheels. Wait till you guys see the one of one. Strap and hoard <laughs> Look, look at the detail in the teeth and everything. We got scrap and hoarding tinkering fun at $50. Do we hear 51 Is there going to be a sniper? America Silver Patriot says he is out. So we have scrapping at 50. Is somebody going to step in? <clears throat> that thing is pretty slick. Got it. Do you plan on doing more of that pour down the road? Uh, yeah. I mean, I have <clears throat> I, I made four of these pieces total. Um, one I've gifted to my my brother, and then this is the next one. I still have two more, but uh, I don't know if I'm going to sell them yet, or you know what I mean, guys. We got a bona fide bidding war. It has jumped up to sixty in just that short amount of time. It went from America to Strapping to Alice in Silverland. Now it's sixty bucks. This thing is very, very, very cool. And, uh, guys, yes, definitely in the next auction, look for SJ's Mixed Adventures to have some stuff in the mix as well. And we got more bidding war going on. Scrapping Hoarding at 61. America Silver Patriot says 64. Scrapping Hoarding says 65 to stay alive. We've got an auction. Look out. We true bidding war. Are we going to hear more than 65 to stay alive? America Silver Patriot says he is out. What's going to happen? You never know. We're looking for 66 to stay in the mix. Alice in Silverland stepping up and hitting a grand slam with 70. Do we hear more than 70? 71 just for fun. Nice, Alice. Alice, don't mess around. She knows what she likes. Yeah, she saw, she was like a few pieces tonight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she, she picked up my dragon and, uh, Potentially, maybe picking up my wolf head. Nice. Um, saves on shipping. Yes, it does. Okay, scrapping, hoarding, sniping at 71. Look out. What you going to do when somebody comes back with 72? <laughs> oh, I have too much fun with this sometimes, don't I? You sound a little bit like me, Ravenhawk. What's up? I said you sound like me when I'm doing the auction. Oh, yeah? Nice. Is this Brian? No, no that's it's scrapping. <laughs> it's scrapping? Okay. <laughs> There's so many. He lost his yeah. <laughs> it's HDF. 
All right, guys, 72, what are you going to do when Silver Alice in Silverland runs wild on you? What you going to see? Guys, scrapping hoarding, stepping up to 75 to stay alive. Oh, thanks, it's like a, like a Bee Gees concert in here. Look out. Mm. <laughs> oh, great googly moogly. Alice in Silverland, 76 in the mix. Dang. She's like, I'm not going to lose it for a dollar. Come on now. All Dang. right, Alex, it's all yours. Mike Wolf, I tried, brother. Scrapping. It is going to the one, the only Alice in Silverland, it looks like. Unless, unless somebody snipes it at the last second, what's going to happen? Last call for Alky Hall. Bradley Height says, <laughs> I smack at you with two sevens. <laughs> That's why the one text message Bradley can get through is probably for another piece. It just finally made it. <laughs> Delayed reaction. He's like, I'm going to get something. <laughs> All right. 78 to make it great. You got Jay. Oh, you didn't know? Dog in the house. Alice says, yep, 78, my friend. You ain't going to get it that easily. You're talking to Alice in Silverland here. Psh, better recognize. <laughs> All right. Do we got 79? Bradley Heights at 79, woman. Look out. 150 likes on the night, and Alice says, you know what? 80 bucks, Bradley. What you got to say about that? I'm looking forward to making more jewelry. Ooh, Bradley. Woo! Brad says, you know what? I'm done with this. 85 to stay alive. <laughs> uh oh. Dude, Alice is not messing around. She said 90. You want to stay in? You want to compete in my league, buddy? We're going five to stay alive. You want to play with the big girls. <laughs> uh, too freaking funny. Awesome. Kelly Ray says, go, Alice. <laughs> SJ says, Alice is my kind of gal. All the women are back in Alice. Look at that. <laughs> Bradley says, Alice. Easy. Easy. Now. Easy. Kelly Kelly Ray says, kick his butt out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> That's awesome. Hey, full push. Your goods and services on your PayPal? Yes, sir. All right. 91 says Bradley Height. Look out. Hey, full push. You've I think you've gotten stuff from me in the past. Yeah. I'm pretty sure you have. Yeah, I should have your let me make sure I have you in my PayPal. I'll get that paid. Paid before I forget. No rush, right? Alice <clears throat> 95. Whew. Right um, all right, so <laughs> Uh, what what's the shipping on it? Uh, full push. Eight fifty, brother. Alice at one hundred dollars. Wow, thank you, Alice. So that's four fifty-eight fifty. Yeah. Right, J Dog. Boom. Triple digits. <laughs> if he doesn't, he does now. <laughs> yeah, <everybody> does. <laughs> I agree, Brian. 
How you healed, Alice? Alrighty, guys. Sorry about that. I had to take care of something real quick. Going once, going twice. Fair warning. Fair warning. Whew. <laughs> SJ. <laughs> Sold to Alice for a hundo. Congratulations, Alice. A full Thank push. You, you're, you're paid, my friend. Right on. Thank you, Raven. Anytime. Congrats, Alice. There you go, Bradley. I'll give you one more look real quick. Bye-bye. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, wow. Thanks. <laughs> All right. Next up, I'm going to Moco. <laughs> okay, guys. So coming up next is, oh, it's from, uh, yes, the one, the only, the man, the myth, the legend, Tomoko's Enterprise. This is a silver claw skull, three and a half ounces of beautiful hand poured silver for one fifty seven fifty is the starting bid. <laughs> good luck. You know what? Everybody. In the email, in the email, the photos looked really good, but blowing them up like this, they look like they look bad. That sucks. Oh, yeah, that thing was awesome in the video. Yeah. Yeah, this thing is just killing it the way it blows them up. And I can't shrink it. I can make it bigger, but I can't shrink it. Whoa. Oh, wow. Alice, really? Like, holy cow. I'm sorry, I don't mean to overtake Alice. Alice, that's wow. Thank, thank you. Like, holy crap! Like seriously. What did I miss? Yeah. Um. So Alice, the piece that she just bought, she said to send it to me. Oh and, wow! Uh, the yeah. skull heart. Oh wow! Uh, the awesome. skull head. Yeah. You rock, Alice. That is, awesome. that's unreal. Thank you, Alice. I, I really, really, really appreciate that. That is very, very, very generous. <clears throat> All right. <laughs> I'm a little caught off guard. <laughs> yeah, that's rough. Man, that's, that's, a, that's a huge, that's a huge, that's a huge gift right there, Alice. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Guys, Mama T Coin says, I'll give you 157.50. So we got a big, a big from the T's starting at 157.50. Look at Mama T. There we go. All right. So do we have 162.50? It's five dollars. Mama, Mama T, I assure you that this will look much better in hand than it does in the photo. Yeah, the, in the video. What's up? Can you zoom in on a picture? On this picture? Yeah. Yeah, I can zoom in. It's gonna distort it a little. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm out as far as it'll let me go, so right on. It won't let me shrink it anymore. But then again, like I said, I'm not a computer genius. In the video, though, that thing looked beautiful, man. I yeah. remember seeing it, and like the detailing on it is very, very good. Claw's gonna pull him right down to his jeans. <laughs> Oh, 
All right, guys. So, guys, looks like the T's are going to swipe in and get a Tomoko's piece for opening bid. That is unreal. Right on. Mike Wolf's going out to Mike. You're gonna miss. The, there's only a couple items left, buddy. <laughs> All right. Nice, Mama T. Congratulations. Very cool. Congratulations, Mama T. Congrats, Mama yeah. T. Yeah, he'll like that. That's a heck of a piece, man. When you get that in hand, you're gonna be happy. I've never been dissatisfied with anything that Tomoko's made ever. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, so <clears throat> coming up next, this thing is really, really cool. Poured by the man himself, Redneck Stacker. It is the Silver Baby Yoda weighing in at 2.7 ounces, Troy. That starting bid is going to be $160. And uh, Mr. Red will highlight it for us. Oh, you guys can't see me? Yeah. Yeah, we're looking right at Baby Yoda. Okay. So, yeah, this is, this is 2.7 ounces, three nines fine silver, then casted. Um, there's only three of these right now that have ever been made, and two of them are owned by Shane. And this is the third one here. So there's the uh, stamping on the bottom of the weight. My stamp, three nines fine. And there's the baby Yoda. Also comes with the COA as well. <coughs> Redneck Metals. And there you go. So that is that. Looks so small down here. But it's not. Well, we, have a, we have a Yoda fan. We have a few Yoda fans. We're already at 180. That is awesome. Guys, yeah, I was going to say it, got, it started getting bidded on so quick. And uh, Steph is at 180. We're looking at 185. Sharp Eye and Steph going back and forth. What's going to happen? You and, wouldn't think uh, this was a hard part to do, believe it or not, because it's chunky. But the ears, man, the ears. Yeah, the detailing in that. The Small ears pulled. The ears pulled pulled so much sand. You know, I think I poured like 20 of these guys and only three came out. Guys, we got a sharp eye at 185. We're looking at 190. Kelly Ray says you need to make more baby Yodas. We're looking for 190 on the baby Yodas. I mean, you can even see his eyebrows. Hmm. Yeah, that thing is cool. There's a stamp there, 2.7. It's not a deer logo right beside it. The three nines fine there. All shined up and tumbled. That thing is pretty cool. We got step at 190. We're looking for 195. And it stands up on its own, so you can put it on the shelf. Put it on the shelf. Where'd you go, Red? I'm still here. Oh. Guys, I'm still really in shock over the wolf's head from Alice. That thing is, that's unbelievable. And I get to have a piece of poured silver from Phoenix Fire. And, uh, yeah, man, that is just way cool. Yeah, it is. And um, so we are at, where are we at on this bid, guys? Steph is at 190. 
And uh, Steelers stacker at 195 with the snipe, ladies and gentlemen. Look out. People uh, don't mess around when it comes to Star Wars stuff, you know. Red, yeah. do my Delph trick on pieces like this, Tomoko says. Yeah, that's what I did on this. This one was done in Delft Clay, 100% Delft Clay. The other two were done in Petrobond. And I'm telling you this, okay? They came out looking the exact same. And I think that's just because I've worked with Petrobond so much that it doesn't really make a difference anymore. That thing's epic, though. That's pretty cool. Yeah, Paula, make sure you're dropping like the big show links and all that stuff in here too. Please. Yeah. I'm waiting for Money Maniacs to make a shout out video for that last win. He says he's going to have it out tomorrow. He's working on it tonight. Very cool. Yeah. If you guys don't know about the big show and you're in here and it's the first time you're hearing about it, the big show is a non-for-profit channel, okay? There's a lot of us that are, are for-profit, including myself. Um, even though I give away a lot of stuff, I don't claim to do it differently. But the big show, you know, relies on support from the community. And when you win from the big show, you're talking an insanely big box of really cool stuff. Silver, numismatic coins, the whole nine. And all they're asking for really is just a little bit of support. If everybody that was a part of it were to donate like $5, it would make the, the packages even better, which is almost really hard to believe, to be honest. Congratulations, you know, Steelers. Very good job to Steelers. Congratulations. But those, those boxes that come from the big show are awesome. I mean, just insanely cool and stuff. Paula, and Paula truly pours, pours her heart into this. Mm -hmm. Really something she really cares about i mean so was, just, was, just like she does just like she does the q a i mean she she you know puts her heart into that as well she puts her heart into everything she does so mm -hmm. That's a, who won that sorry Steelers stacker Steelers with an s at the end <laughs> the, the one s be careful all right let's see here oh, yeah all right. Next up, give me a second here. Let me get all this banners done. Okay. Uh, scrap in. And let's share the screen. All right, guys. So as you hear, it's coming from Scrap and Hoarding Tinkering Fun. This is the Crown Royal Sunken Treasure Copper Stacker weighing 18.71 ounces. And the starting bid is, I think that says 35 Yes, $35, ladies and gentlemen. Starting bid, $35. Bucks. Yep, if you're starting your co copper stack off, why not start with something stylish? Heck yeah. That reminds me of an old, I used to put, you know, stuff in my fish tanks that was pirate themed. And I had mm -hmm. something that looked a lot like that. Did you? Mm -hmm. Got a stamp on the top right there, SHTF. Guys, we, we're at 50 bucks already from Donna Mac. Do we hear 51 just for some fun? And this is a chunky piece. Phoenix at 51. Somebody says, hmm, I may do 52. Yeah, it's a very chunky piece. That thing is... 18.7, almost 19 ounces. Yeah. Copper is a, a gorgeous, in my mind, a gorgeous, gorgeous metal. Yeah, that's right, Cal. Now you have the you have the Patron bottle. I did. Nice. Hey, thanks for the bids, Donna Mac. Thanks for the bids. Looking for 52. Yeah. 
Looking for Thank you. All right, last call going once, going twice. Zombie Fighter says it has a nice coppery color. <laughs> fair warning, fair warning. Burp, 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 burp. It looks like it's going to be s -s 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 sold to Phoenix for 51. All right. Thanks, Phoenix. Nice Congratulations. Yeah. First copper pour from you. Very cool. Yeah. All right. All right. <laughs> Mr. John Wolf. Uh, this one's really cool, guys. Matter of fact, I have a feeling this next item is going to cause a bidding war itself. I saw it earlier. I thought that was a very slick piece. And it is a silver mermaid coming in at 1.36 troy ounces. And the starting bid only $68, ladies and gentlemen. Made by the one and only John Wolf. Look out, SJ. There's a mermaid up there. It is a, All right, Tomoko, take care, brother. Right, Enjoy Tomoko, your dinner. have a good night. This is the same cast. All, All right. right. We have a, uh, poured it into Petrobon. Poured it into Petrobon sand. Uh, nice. And it come out pretty Very good. Nice. nice and polished up. Real shiny. Nice. Did Donna ever Thanks, America. Pull her bed or? <clears throat> um, Donna is at. S oh, wait. 71. America's out. So we're looking for 72. Not too bad. 72 going once. How you doing, Luke? Good. What's up, Luke Duke? Hmm. Congrats, Donna. Looks like she Guys, uh, sold to Donna Mash. Donna. Congrats, Donna. Donna. That is very cool. Oh, so you got yourself. Thank you, Donna. Appreciate it. All right, guys. Coming up next. Now, this one is pretty slick in itself. Oh. And it is an 11-piece item, and it weighs 43 grams, right? Yep. Yes, sir. And it is made by Full Push Metals. It is a Silver General Grievous, ladies and gentlemen. This thing is pretty cool. And from what I understand, he's going to be putting it together. Yes, sir. Nice. Comes with four lightsabers. And his four arms, of course, his torso, his head, and his body. Right. And that thing is pretty darn cool. It's like Raven said. We have four finished up, highly polished lightsabers that are not going to stand up. There we go. All right. We got oh, crap oh, and we're going on. Oh, polished bottoms. Nice. We're nice at 180. Nice. Those little lightsabers look slick. Yeah, they are awesome by themselves. You know what I mean? Yeah, those came out really good, man. For being that small, it's a, you know the way to make those small like that. The amount of detail work to go into that is is it's not easy to pull that off. Uh -huh. Right on. Well, this is a chess piece here. Let's see if I can bring the detail up to meet you. 
Yeah, the bigger the piece, the easier to make. <laughs> Come on, camera. Oh, yeah. I did, I, so did somebody say about the gavel, the gavel does come apart or it doesn't come apart? No. That's one piece. Okay. Yeah. So this is the uh, midsection chest, I guess you'd say. Camera don't want to focus, but that's all right. It does have some detail on the front of him here, and the back is a high polish. It does have some detail down toward the lower section here. I'll probably have to move the camera or something to make it work right. Let's see if we can uh, throw this together right quick. We'll start with the legs and the mid tor and torso section. Guys, we are at $200 right now with Phoenix Fire Fine Arts, ladies and gentlemen. Are we going to get 205 to stay alive? That thing is cool. Give it a slightly a little squeeze. You can do the hula. Yeah. So there's his legs. <laughs> All right, guys. See him. Steph is at 205. These are his arms here. We're looking for 210 once again. America Silver Patriot says this is awesome. Mm -hmm. Very, very cool. Yes, we have Steph at 205. We're looking for 210. Bid can't close till he's done bidding, right? Or till he's done building, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just playing with my piece, man. <laughs> just being really gentle right now. Just want to get everything set stone here, where you can see what's going on with General Grievous. I have not put it together, so I don't know what it looks like either. So we are about to find out. That's why I'm waiting. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> all in, all done. Last call. We're at 205 looking for 210. If somebody is going to snipe, they're going to do it real soon. If not, oh, there it is. Phoenix Fire Fine Arts at 210, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that. Bill Jester. At yeah. 215, CM Steph says she didn't even hesitate, my friends. <laughs> <laughs> America's Silver Patriot says, slow down. <laughs> Silver, you can actually play with. <laughs> yeah. Stuff that articulates is cool. So there's that half. Come on. Come on, camera. And the fact that you get four little lightsabers to go with it, that's just too awesome. You get 11 total pours, I mean. Yeah. That's true. 11 total pours, guys, in one piece. So. You know, you might go, well, it's not very big for 220, but hey, the amount of work they had to go in to make it, it, it there's a lot there. It is a crazy amount. I didn't write down to keep the hours because they were sporadic at best, but still. And you guys, you guys, we all got to see full push metals polishing skills. <laughs> <laughs> right on. He's. He's really good at making sure that helmet shines. Hmm. Got a lot of practice. <laughs> you should get the uh, detail of the chest here. The chest cavity and all that stuff has got some high. Get the other two arms on. High detail to the chest. I was going to stop. I didn't know if we were done or not. Oh. <laughs> I went on. I went on. Well, they're, still call, they're still calling it down. <laughs> All right, fair warning, fair warning, sold to Steph for $215. Congratulations, Guys, Steph. 157 Steph. likes for the show so far. Nice. Two hours into this, we still have 80 people in the room. And a hundred or 161 total interactions. And, you know, hey, those thumbs down actually count just as much as the thumbs up. So, you know, when you're doing that double click, you're actually helping the show. 
All right, guys, this next one is one heck of a cool item coming up. And uh, I'm going to let Phoenix do all of the talking on this because this is his item. Yeah, I was going to say, you want to let Full Push finish his build out so that uh, yeah. what, yeah, what that's he, fine. she bought. Yep, sorry about that. Yeah, I'm not in any in any rush. I'm sorry. I'm just sorry. I'm just used to doing it that way. <laughs> no, I hear you. I just would I I want to see it. I think everybody wants to see it kind of completed. We've been seeing it built for a long period of time. Right on. I don't think the the folks watching will mind. I'm still I still am kind of. I'm happy, but also amazed that I spent that much money on a silver gavel. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. That you look like you bid towards the one one Heck yeah. See, see, if Joe Durbin wouldn't have been around, though, I could have got it for much less. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> nice. No, it was cool. I'm, I'm, I'm happy with it. I actually, I actually said I had a budget that was a little bit more than, than what I spent. So I'm very, very happy. Yeah, no, sucker. Always the last one, I guess. Dude, that thing is freaking cool, yeah, bro. Yeah, it's good. That little grievous is sick. <laughs> Joe Durbin. <laughs> That's freaking wild. There it is, guys. It's an awesome 11 core articulated <coughs> silver masterpiece. Does it stand up? Is the question. It will if I crimp this midsection right here together. But I was kind of having fun with it kicking. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> little little limp legs just waddling <laughs> back and forth. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it'll stay permanently in spot if you want. All you have to do is crimp your little sections a little bit harder than you normally would. I left them a little loose because I've been just, just kind of quick throwing through it. But that's awesome, guys. I'm, I'm pretty stoked. Congrats to the winner, and that's I'm pretty cool. That's what I poured that. That's pretty cool. That's awesome. That thing's unbelievable. Oh, uh, does it come with assembly instructions? <laughs> <laughs> it it yeah. can. If does, it, does it have a special tool for crimping? I, it does not come with a tool. I could include the tool with it. <laughs> I'm sure I got a pair of needle nose around here. That's all you need, those little pair of needle nose. Just barely squeeze on the cup of that hand. Or they're all the same type of uh, connection point. So, right. Yeah, that's awesome. Good deal. Oh, that was a, a, a Lego General Grievous. I didn't catch that until just now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it's two cool things mixed in one Lego plus Star Wars. Right. Lego on. Silver. And he sits it by himself. Take him out. So, ladies and gentlemen, the next item coming up, I can't wait to see this. This is going to be really cool. Look at that. That thing is epic, the little guy. All right. So, here we have the 101. Uh, this is a Lost Wax 4 creation that I did. Uh, Comes out to 15.38 ounces, so it's a little bit hefty. And uh, it being the last one of the year, um, and all of us are poor here, so it's symbolic at the same time. A lot of guys say it should be a trophy, but uh, here it is, guys. Ready? And there you go. That is it. That thing is. So, that thing is we have a crucible uh, that is broken since it's the last one of the year. It is a broken crucible at the back end. It blew out. The last pour it'll ever do. And is pouring molten silver down into, as you can see, the oh, bar below. The bar. And, uh, yeah, the bar. And uh, the silver splashes up on the – I'm going to scooch it in. This one going to give you all a little bit of a far view here. Dude, that is – and, I don't usually uh, get that speechless. That's cool. So you get your 15.38 ounces, Troy, my mark. That's my custom mark. And if I can get this to focus here, it says Redneck Metals 101 on that. This is December 2020. And then on the other side coming around, we do have 
the handmade by Phoenix Fire Fine Arts, which is me. So all that comes together. Uh, you get the little electric rotating table here, the actual display case. I didn't put the top on yet. Um, I have it still wrapped in its sticky stuff. But all this will come together to the winner, and uh, I hope they enjoy it and display it. So basically, guys, this is like the trophy of trophies, man. Yeah, yeah that that is probably the up. Oh, we have scrapping, hoarding, tinkering fun at seven seventy. Oh, wow, scrapping! Gonna, thank you, sir. I knew he was going to bail. Oh, something happened to Joe. That thing is pretty. Pretty darn cool, man, to have it look like it's actually pouring, you know, liquid. Hey, babe, come look at this. Check, I wish check. it would focus a little better for you guys. It's a poured silver. Face there we go. Is that not cool? That's 15 ounces. $775, and you can bid on it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, I can't afford that. That thing is awesome, though, man. The detail in that is sick. I'm very impressed, bro. Thank you. I mean, yeah, just I the fact that it looks like splashing and everything, that's... Yeah, the molten, oh. the molten silver splashing up... Uh, and then you're down in the in the cavity itself. Joe Durbin's here in chat. <laughs> there you can kind of see some more down in there. There's splashing going on as well. Yeah, I I, I did the same thing, zombie. When I saw it, I went, whoa. <laughs> yeah, the actual crucible. Like, let me go ahead and take it out and show you guys. So and get it to focus. Probably because you, uh -huh. you guys wrote redneck. That's why it didn't show up. So yeah. there you go. Handmade by Phoenix Fire Fine Arts. On the front, you have the redneck yeah. metal model one. December 2020. I'll be glad when this year is over. Dude, I don't know, man. You're coming up pours like that, man. man. I think we need to do this. The 15.38 uh, ounces Troy. There's my my custom. This is uh, the custom logo. Same thing with my stamp. This isn't my normal stamp. <laughs> Three nine fine silver. And then that's uh, over here on the crucible. You can see where the redneck put on redneck medals on the crucible. I get it to focus. Oh, that is epic. Yeah, it's not focusing. Well, look at the bright side, Phoenix. At least you didn't get to ship it across country. God, the thing is, that is, I, I like the detail on the side of the crucible. Yeah. That is too cool. All right, guys, going once. What's up, Victoria Roman Carter? How you doing? So now, now we know the truth that Scrappings had this eye on this since Phoenix poured it. Dude, that if I could afford it, I, that's something I would definitely some something that would be cool to own. I mean, heck, I, I really wanted a chess set, but you know. I'm just gonna tell everyone that it's a trophy that I won. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You won it. You're winning it, I should say. That that detailing in that is is just unreal. Blue Moon B in the house. Fair warning, fair warning on the last item of the night, ladies and gentlemen. It looks like it's going to be going to Scrapping Sold for seven seventy. Scrappy. Scrappy. Right. Congratulations, Scrapping. Congrats, Scrapping. Yeah, man, I, I I hope you really dig it, man. I'm, I'm it. digging just from the picture, let alone when it shows up. <laughs> right on, awesome. that thing. That thing's epic. Hell yes, that's you one nice that. piece. Nice piece, scrapping. Right on, and for all those in the chat that didn't see some of the nice. items that were up earlier tonight. There are some items that didn't sell that will still be available, and we were supposed to highlight those, right? 
Yeah. Yeah. Nice job, Phoenix. That, that turned out just fucking. Yeah, I think uh, uh, Jesse O wanted to know all the pieces that didn't sell. So if you want to go through that link. Um, okay, let me. I appreciate everybody taking a look at that, and, and uh, that's awesome. Bye, we can show the we can show the pieces um, as uh, as we're closing out. I just want to thank a few people though before we continue on. I've noticed that certain people made shut up videos for the Red Knight Metals High Rollers auction over the last few days. And I got a list of people here. If I am missing anybody, I apologize. But I want to thank all the members of Redneck Metals for one. I want to thank Raven Hot Coins, Sterling Cannabis, Ida Heron, um, Majestic, Jade Dog, uh, America Silver Patriot, Shane, Mike Wolf, Rocky Mountain Bear, Metal Detecting, and C. Thank you guys very much for the shout out videos. It truly means a lot to all of us. Cool. Yeah, we got a giveaway. So don't go nowhere, guys. Thank you, everybody. Yeah, we actually have uh, we have two giveaways. Uh, two. Bradley's doing us. Bradley's doing is he he came up with something else. So okay, scrapping or I mean, uh, full push has got his, and then uh, there's another one for Bradley. Hang on, see him, Steph. Uh, Brian, may, I, up may I intervene? Something here, real quick. Sure. So. As we've all been talking in private, the, the, the group and I, you know, whatnot, for this coming year that's coming up, 2021, you know, we'd like to hear from you guys. I mean, giving us themes, ideas, stuff y'all want to see, putting us to the challenge uh, to create more of what you guys are particularly wanting. I mean, we can always pull things together out of the wind, but, you know, having your feedback in on things is going to be not only beneficial to us growing in our techniques, but also to getting more of what you guys particularly may want. Um, so we would ask, you know, and I think Red, you were talking about making some videos or something of that nature in the community uh, to get y'all's feedback on these things. Um, I know we're still working out some fine details, right, Red? Yes, yeah, so what I'm gonna do, guys, is on the Redneck Metals channel, this channel right here, over in the next probably few days to a week, I'm going to release a video and I'm going to ask everybody's uh, opinion on what the next theme should be for the one of one for next year. Um, and what will happen is I will put all the members' names into a hat and I will randomly draw names and those persons will be in those uh, months and so forth. And then they will create the one of one, like the one of one redneck metal spy. So, the, I mean, the theme could be, you know, pirate themed. It could be hunting. It could be, you know, anything. Um, so when I release that video, just leave a comment down in the video and we will tally everything up and go from there. So... You know, are we moving? Are we are we looking to just get away from the one hundred and one? Or thank you. I mean, no, honest, no, honest, honestly, we're we're pretty well known for the one hundred and one. Right, and we're we're going to keep a one of one, but so next year it's not going to be a redneck metals one of one. It's going to be a different theme of a one of one. Um, you know, we're we're going to let the the community pick. You know, and then maybe the year after that we'll go back to doing another redneck metals one of one, and then year after that we'll alternate. You know what I mean? Yeah. Pick a different theme. So yeah, there'll always be a one of one bar regardless. Um, but yeah, so. And right, I put up, here, here's, another, here's another thing I'm going to put in on that is I put up Red's email address here. So if you don't want to wait till the video comes out, there's just something that's on your mind that you would like to see maybe get poured in the upcoming year. Or if there's a theme you would like to see come up in the upcoming year, just reach out and email them. You yeah, can do that definitely. as well. So uh, we're going to be doing videos and stuff like that. So that'll hopefully get some more, you know, get some more interest there. But for the time being, if there's something that's just pressing on your mind, just reach out. Exactly. Yep. We're here for any information. Is good information, guys. So now we're here to create for you guys as well as for ourselves. But you know, in the end all, end all, you guys are the ones taking these home. 
and uh, you know, anyhow, cool. All right, so how do we want to do this? You want to go back over okay, this so first? Pardon? You yeah, we, yeah. So uh, we, we will uh, go over um, everything on the list that hasn't sold. That way, if anybody who does want to, by any chance, uh, scoop it up, they can. If not. Um, they'll be there for later on down the road or hopefully, or, uh, unless the part is melted that piece, who knows? So, um, who's going first here? You are, it's been a oh, Okay. Um, all right. So I guess I got to turn on my camera. So as we have here is this seven ounce venom bar. Now my light works better. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it looks perfect now. Yeah. So this is seven ounces. Hefty banger. Yeah. Only one of these made guys, and the asking price for this I'm asking is 400 so there's that, and then it comes with the aluminum COA with the information on the back. It is a prototype. So there's that one. All right, the next one up is uh, Bradley's shotgun. Phoenix, look at private chat. Yeah, I saw Mama T there. Oh, private chat? Yeah. I'm sorry. Yes, that's correct. Okay. I just want to make sure. I'm going to uh, subtract yours off of it and then send it to you, all right? Yeah, that's fine. Bradley Heights is a silver shotgun. It's 18.945 ounces Troy, and the starting bid is $950. I don't know if we're doing bids or how we're doing it. How are we? How are we doing this? Are we waiting for bids in the in the chat or? I think it's like now. It's buy it now, right? No, it's just buy it now. If somebody wants it, they'll speak up. If not, we'll keep going. Uh, so it's bin at nine fifty or. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. That's a badass piece. Yeah. Diane Durbin. Oh, wait. She's putting that in. Sorry. <laughs> well, she was buying Tony. it for a minute. Is that I you buying it, Diane? I or was buying it also. <laughs> My head's off, you, Bradley. Yeah, I can, Bradley. Hold on a second. Are, are you buying that, Diane? Or? <laughs> I'm getting hungry. <laughs> uh, me and my fat belly. It's a beautiful piece, Bradley. Oh, yeah, it is. It's awesome. Epic tone job. Yeah. I mean, it mm -hmm. looks like a real wood grain stock. Yeah. All right. Um, Rocky Mountain Bear is asking if you have a photo that's a little bit more to scale of what it is size wise. Um, I don't remember how long he said it was. Uh, 18 inches, I think, or four, 14 or 18 inches long, I think. 14, maybe? Wow. I don't know. Bradley's in chat, so he can pipe up and uh, tell people. I can safely say it's longer than a foot. That shit better than a real foot. It's longer than my foot, but then you have to send it here so I can be accurate about that. Mm. <laughs> yeah, the zombie fighter says he thought it was, you know, they thought it was a, a wood yeah. stock at first. It, it looks really good. That's a, well, that's about there, I'd be done. Almost 13 uh, inches. Long. Almost 13 inches long. We are. We're finishing up. 
Sick piece. So I'm going to write a number down here and let's do. Almost one third scale. All right, guys. Unfortunately, I got to cut out. All right. All right. Is everything, uh, is Thanks everything, uh, is everything, uh, everything, uh, did you get the essay or, uh, uh, so who bought full pushes general grievous? I am good. Is that CMS step? Yes, sir. Yeah. And how much did she pay for it? 215. 215. All right. And then BNX, I already know. All right. Cool. Thanks, buddy. Mm. Oh, man. All right. All right. Cool. And, well, thank you, Sam. Yeah. yeah. Enjoy dinner, bro. Oh, or where are we going? He's already gone. Is that the last item, Brian? Oh, no. There's a whole list of items, brother. We got right. John's. We got yours. Okay, let's, uh, let's keep moving then. Here's John Wolf's White Tiger. The tiger. All right, guys. I'm going to have to call it a night, gentlemen. All right, Ravenock, thanks, brother. All right, thank you, man. Thank More you, than man. welcome. You guys are awesome, and I look forward to, you know, what we do in the future. I'm really stoked to be a sponsor of everybody, and as you yeah, can see, I, I, I do invest back into you guys as much as I can. So uh, I appreciate that. It'll be hey, a lot of fun. What's up? Give me your address so I can send your uh, gift to you from uh, Alice. Is yeah. Oh. Oh. Okay. Yeah. No problem. Um. I'll give it to you, Phoenix. Okay. Cool. Cool. Okay. Cool. Cool. Mm -hmm. And thank uh, you, full push. <laughs> thank you, Raven. The awesome, white brother. tiger. The white tiger is going for it's seven point eight ounces, Troy, and it's starting at three hundred and or it's bin is three hundred and ninety dollars. Three fifty for price reduction. John right. Wolf to do a price reduction, so he'll ask three fifty for it. Then three fifty for that big old tiger. Nice. All right, what's um... Man. Oh, man, I hope I hope you guys didn't hear that one. I heard that one. Thank <laughs> <laughs> you. <laughs> <laughs> That's the spam kicking in right there, boys. <laughs> Stepped on a freaking barking spider. Damn, can the frogs. <laughs> Sorry, guys. What you oh, do, man. Kelly? What you do? 70 plus people heard that. <laughs> <laughs> This choir in church bells. Damn. Thank God we don't have smell of vision. Thank God. <laughs> that was for you, Bradley. <laughs> I just have a feeling. What that asshole say? <laughs> Man, I think I smell that thing all the way over here. <laughs> you had your sound turned up. I sure as hell felt it. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, uh, hey, calm down, man. <laughs> uh, is that everything, Brian? No. Oh, calm, calm your shit and ask him. Oh, I'm telling sure. you, there's a list here. <laughs> uh, well, Here's George. 
There's a large silver skull. This one's 6.60 ounces, Troy. And the starting or the uh, buy it now is $330. No bidding required. Just put in bin and the price, which is $330, I think I said. So bin $330, and it's yours. That's a first. There is a mute button if everybody else don't know. So he could he could have he could have not done that. Shit. <laughs> he would send a keep a John a little extra in his package. He's to hit his britches live on stream. <laughs> I was bending over to hit the mute button, dude. And uh, I didn't want to wait. I was heard both things come out, both ends of pure bullshit. <laughs> All right, no interest in this. All right. Um, let me get the next one up. <laughs> okay, let's act like grown ups now. Come on, now. This is a fighter. You got it, CSM staff. Thank you, dear. Congrats on your win. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, don't everybody leave. We got some giveaways coming up. There's two more, two more hand poured bones, and this uh, the hand poured uh, arrow, arrowhead with the bull skull on it, plus a Bradley Height giveaway, I believe, of some sort. I'm not sure. All right, this one here is a poured uh, silver pocket watch core, four point two ounces Troy, and the star and the bin is one ninety. Do we have any interest? <laughs> Oh, shit. <laughs> you got that. You got that right, Kelly Ray. It was not just a part. It was an orchestra. <laughs> I can't help it, yo. Know? It's a spam, man. <laughs> yeah, Canadian sandwich. Uh, I had to open a window just in case. <laughs> All right. I knew I, I should have stopped at one sandwich. <laughs> Why am I hitting my ear? No. Uh, <laughs> no silver woman skulls. Uh, you people in the chat ain't making us any better, you know. <laughs> Shit, we ain't got to worry about it. We heard it now. You got to deal with it. <laughs> right? I'm trying to, like, not make a big deal about this, people. <laughs> <laughs> That's impossible. <laughs> when, when from scrap and snoring to uh, <coughs> red singing. Well, you know they say it's better release the gas than bear the pain. <laughs> yep. Yeah, the detail in this thing is crazy. Take care, Joe. You have a good night, brother. This is a silver woman over skull sand cast at 6.2 ounces Troy. And the starting or the uh, buy it now is 372. <laughs> hey, thanks for coming, Joe. Thanks for all your help, man. I appreciate that, brother. Yeah, Joey Bear. Take care, brother. Better Derby Mint. Joe, send me an email tomorrow, too, if you don't mind, about uh, that secret thing. Oh, that just flipped out. No, not that secret. <laughs> you guys need some fire bells? Go check out the Derby Mint. He hook you right, right up. So badass. And John Wolf is next with the, uh, with the steer head. And that one is a uh, twelve point four nine ounces Troy, and the starting bid on that is six twenty. Or the uh, buy it now is six twenty five. I like that.
Nice, nice. Uh, all right, John, thank you very much. Right. And here is a 10 ounce silver bar by Backyard Scrapping. Um, it is starting off at $500. From silver, crystal, crystal silver, silver, yeah, silver, crystal silver. I'll be right back, guys. I gotta use the restroom. Uh, you want to let one out? Huh? I <laughs> said, so you don't want to let one out? No, no, I actually I've been drinking too much coffee and water today. Please shut the door. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so hopefully everybody enjoyed the action. Um, you know, uh, hopefully, you know, even if you didn't buy anything, I appreciate everybody coming by and showing your support and everything. k and Scrapping, how's it going, brother? You can hear me, Blue Moon? I hope you can hear me, Blue Moon. Such a great job toning. It's all that sulfur. <laughs> uh, That's going to go down for forever on our channel. Huh? Another. <laughs> uh, I, I would say we're going to remove this stream, but probably not. <laughs> kind of hard to remove it, Casper. Kind of, kind of. All right. So. <laughs> That's all those. Do you want to do? Do you want to do Bradley's giveaway first? How do you want to do all these? Uh, let's do uh, one of Full Push's uh, giveaways. Okay. Uh, and I already got the number written down here on paper. So okay. the guess is between one and a hundred. One guess. One guess per person. What? Sorry. Go ahead, brother. When you see my go in chat, you can start guessing. One guess per person, please. Wait till Wait. you see my go. Wait, you see the count. I don't know why y'all are guessing. I'm just gonna sit here and wait till y'all stop. <laughs> do, 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 there we go. Wait, people. <laughs> All right, go. Good luck, guys. There we go. Cool bull skull on an arrowhead. That's pretty cool little piece, man. I guess Jay hit stop. <laughs> Still don't see it. Okay, I'm gonna type go and chat again, and then you guys can guess one more time. Go. One guess. One guess. One guess. Really? I think you should do letters. Yeah, but letters. There's, there's more people in here. We'll do letters next giveaway. Uh, next ones are on my chat. Between, I got this. between one and a hundred. Between one and a hundred. One guess per person. Make sure you guys are looking at all the numbers that have been guessed 
and try not to repick them. Mm -hmm. So one guess per person? Yeah, one guess per person. Okay, you want to do it again? Let's go again. One guess per person. Go. So many people, it's so close. Nice. I must have picked like a really hard number or something. I don't know. Thank you, Phoenix. Yeah, we're yeah. getting exact. Okay, you want me to just pick closest without going over? We can do that. Okay, stop. Everybody stop. I'll pick closest. Yeah. The closest person I see to this number. I got to scroll all the way up now. Hopefully I can get to the top. Mm -hmm. Or just do it again and then that way at the stop point and you had those pick from Say what? Or just do it again with the number range and then just pick from those. Make a smaller number range, read. Really. Okay. So we'll go between one and fifty and then closest. Closest. Exactly. Closest, yeah. Yeah. The closest without going over wins. So go. Between one and fifty. Hmm. That's so why I don't do giveaways. <laughs> That's why I do the chat comment picker. It's so much easier. Let the bot do all the work. I got to just press two buttons. We'll do that here in a second. We got two more after this. Is everybody one guess, Monica? One guess. Mine's got good, she's got good luck with winning for me on, on the giveaway. She won yeah, the she, she guessed more than once. The number is taco. <laughs> well, okay, let's stop there. Let me scroll up to my go. So put stop. Yeah. Okay. The number was 28, and I see my, uh, my friend Dave at 26. Let's see, 27 it is J.R. That's who I see first, closest. I don't see number 28 at all, so. I'm checking here, too. Let's see, JR. Wait, JR. All right. Congratulations, JR. Email full yep, push. JR. Email full push through your giveaway win. Congratulations. JR Carthorn. Right on. Congrats, bro. Let me write that down. That's a nice little piece. Yeah, we, uh, we do have other giveaways, guys, so. Now, what do you want to do now? Do you want to do Bradley's giveaway or? Yeah, let's let's do Bradley's and we're going to do a letter this time. Uh, Bradley's already got his picked out, how he wants it given away. Okay. Um, of course, it's got to be between numbers. Uh, red, hold on a second. Um, 
Hopefully it's not some crazy number, no one rather. And hold on. I'm gonna send it to um we'll push and Phoenix. Um, okay. you guys you guys are gonna have to help me keep an eye in chat. Um, between one and I don't four. say it out loud. Are you doing a number or something? I'm sending you right now so you can help me keep an eye in chat. Cool. Yeah, let me know. Let me know when to push go. What are you uh, sending it to you? I, I just good? send it to you text. Oh. Okay, well, let me get my phone off the of airplane mode. <laughs> oh shit! I, I got to turn the plane down the options. I didn't disturb anybody. <clears throat> I mean, I can see chat no problem. Bro. Okay, uh, he didn't specify if it's one guest per person or multiple guesses. How do you want to do it? We're gonna do one guest per person. Okay. That, way, that way, it's easier to keep track of the chat, right? Yeah. Okay, are you ready? Yeah, do you, uh, are you writing it in chat as to what it is and everything, the range? Yep. Okay, then yeah, well, uh, let's go. Yeah, Thank one guess. We will go closest to without going over. Oh, you know what? I didn't even show off what Bradley was giving away. It's a surprise. Hmm. Um, is that everybody? As far as I know, it's clad. Okay, so stop. And it'll be the closest person to. So I'm going to type in stop. Closest person to the number without going over. Yeah, I know. So I see. Put it in private chat with you guys. Make sure it's the same person. Uh, <clears throat> I don't see the actual number. First person I see closest without going over. Let me. <coughs> Who do you see? Phoenix. I just Phoenix put it in private chat. chat. Yeah, I put it in private chat and what I see for the closest. <clears throat> Let me. I got to get up then and read. Yeah, same person I seem to. Okay. Yeah. So, so Money Maniac. Right? Money Maniac is the winner for Bradley Heights giveaway. Uh, so, message Bradley Height at Brad Goldpan76. <laughs> At gmail.com. The number was 144, but the closest to it without going over was, was Money Maniacs. Right. We did. So Go Red Nino. Hey, Kathy Durbin. How you doing? David Carla, How's it going? All right. So, full push. Yes, sir. Man, man, Money Maniacs, you got all kinds of shout out videos to do. Uh, Money Maniacs, I put Bradley's uh, email address up on the screen here. Email him, bradgoldpan76 at gmail.com, with your address and your information, and he will get it mailed out to you. 
They are is uh, asking for full pushes email, and that should be up in a second. I think. Yeah, hang on one second. It's like it uh, at three nine at gmail dot com, but I'm typing in the chat as well. All right, guys. Now there's two more bones to give away. I'm ready to fire those away whenever you guys are. Fire them away. Fire them away now, man. Right on. <clears throat> Want to get the unique comments again? We're at 62. Now we're at 63. Um, hold on. Are you doing a giveaway on the screen there? Thank you for coming by and you have a good night. Night, Ida. Take care. Right on. That's refreshing. 63. Where is the stare button? Right on, guys. This is four hundred. We should have done this from the get go. <laughs> it's a lot easier, Brian. I make sure the screen comes in on the YouTube side so I can see what's going on. Oh, I so. see we didn't have a comment, did you? This is for one of these here phones. Starts in the background. Fire away. Good luck, guys. The Wolf Fifty Six. Congrats. Who is that? The Wolf Fifty Six. The Wolf 56. Yeah. All right, Wolf 56. Email uh, full push at that email address right there with your uh, with your address and your information so you can get that sent out to you. I refresh the comments. We're at 66. Good deal, guys. Good luck. Last winner for another bone. Same thing. Here we go. Scrapping and hoarding. Good luck. That was a hit, bro. Scratch, scrapping, hoarding, tinkering, fun. Congrats. Your COAs will be according to your winning numbers. All right. So that's it now, bro. I'm done. I'm out. Yeah. I'm out of We're all done. Awesome. Awesome. Don't forget, guys. Uh, so thank you, everybody, for coming. We appreciate it. Uh, and uh, don't forget, guys, the first Sunday of every month, we are having a, a Redneck Metals Port Silver auction. Um, you know, so keep an eye out for that, guys. Um, that can, will be in January, first Sunday of January. Um, so, yeah. Anyways, guys, thank you for coming. We appreciate all the support and the love and the respect from everybody. Hope you guys enjoyed all the pours. And uh, don't forget, in the description of the stream is all our sponsors. So make sure you guys go over there and show their channel some love as well. Let them know that we sent you. And until next time, guys, thank you very much. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye, Bye everybody. everybody. Have a great Take night. Care. We'll talk to you all later. Have a great night, everyone. Thank please. you, everybody. Thank you, everybody, for coming. Please, thank you.